Hi everyone, Fire ISM. Welcome to Friday Night's Live at the Bench page. I've done a nightmare before we even get started because I can't seem to share the link to the Live at the Bench page. So I'll do it in a minute when we start reading the chat. So hope everyone's had a good week. Uh, stayed safe, stayed sensible. Um, we're here for, well, a few hours tonight uh, to entertain you. It's very warm and humid. So as soon as I put my camera on my bench, I'm opening that door. I can't do it now because it just wiped everything out. Um, I'm going to share the I'm going to share the link on both pages now, Paul. So don't worry about it. I've got to put all the bumper for all the crap. That's what I was trying to do. Fake, that new Facebook's a nightmare to use. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm it, it wouldn't let me copy it to put it down, and then oh, okay. I deleted it, went back, and it wasn't there again. It took you five minutes. I still didn't get there to do it. It's a pain in the back. So I'll do it in a minute, mate. Don't worry. Okay, cool. Um, so use your show tonight. Uh, we've got Tim looking on the latest kit. So there's not all that many. We've got a few. Uh, we've got Dan looking at all your work shows on the Facebook page and forum. Questions for the crew of Al. We've got Tim who will be looking at everything we've been buying over the last few weeks. Yep. And if you've got any questions or comments, pop them in the chat. We'll either read them in the chat or save them for our section. And as always, the winner of Dan's section for one most voted for with a £10 UP gift voucher. I'll throw a random number generator through the night. One of you lucky people out there will win a £20 UP gift voucher. I mean, might even let Tim read the rules again with numbers and numbers and more numbers. Oh. And, numbers and more numbers. So, number numbers. so there we go. So let me get the thing off me. There we go. And um, we'll get it on gallery view. There we go. So tonight we've got um, Tim. We've got me. Sorry, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> we got Sam. we got Norman. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> We got Norman, we got uh, Dan, Al, and me again. Oh, I'll turn some light on. Yep. Um, Hi, guys. So I'm going to minimize that. Mm -hmm. And just sort my stuff out because I'm completely unprepared because Facebook's a pain in the backside. This new one does not like sharing stuff like the old one. Because every week. That. Oh, well, when we're using 8x8, eight eight, I could set all this up before we went live. Mm -hmm. So just hit live and everything went up on YouTube, all the um, was all in the content of the video, all the description was there. Facebook, I just copied it over quick and it was done. While, whilst that five minutes was ticking over, this one I can't do a thing until it goes live. And that new Facebook is just being a pain in the backside. So yes, yeah. so Tim, if you want to read the comments, mate, you can follow oh, well, go. Because where they, I'm going to kick they Facebook go? to ask. There they are. Let me do this. In. Do some pop out chat. Pop out the chat. Pop up up and down headlights. Uh, da, 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 da. Just quickly, I was trying to talk to Dan quickly and uh, regarding his new perch house. Yes. You, you got to put your new purchase in the chat in in the bit oh, there, yes. Dan. I nearly oh, can, did. Can I put can I put this week's shopping in there then? Yeah, why not? Yeah. We're gonna end up with everything in there. We're, yeah, already got it. Boxes, yeah. There's already a cat in there. Hey, oh, hey. Wow. We got we might as well. Yeah, hang on, it's modeling related. Modeling, we'll be here all day. I want to be sharing pictures of carrots, peas. I, I think sharing carrots and peas is a bit far. No, it'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, yeah, it probably will. I, I, think, Dan, I, I, I think Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dan. Dan can share his. Dan can share his purchase, so we can all chat about it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence. What do you reckon, Dan? If it'll make Tim happy, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, if it makes Tim oh, happy, then leave it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> do it. He has a new name as well now. His name is Tom. Oh, Tim is. oh okay. Tim's no, called no, Tom. No, Hello, Tom. No, oh, no, fair no, enough. I, I well, was, was changed right? Tim's name to Tom. It's going to be a bit confusing though, because we've already got two Tom. We have two Toms in the house. It, it, it might be a bit hard. No, work. Not, not Tim. Tom. My new Tom. car is called what? Tom. Are you giving it away now? Is <sighs> chili pepper? <laughs> it sounds like I've got Tom Jones under the bonnet. You know when you stand on it, it goes, and it just sounds like Tom Jones warming up, and it's quite. Sure, it's not Dutchy Tappets. How, how's it go? I was going to say it's not unusual to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not yeah. singing to you. Know what I mean, there we go. Um, now Facebook has worked. Hey. All right. Anyway, so that, let me that, that, that new Facebook absolutely sucks. I'm yeah, I'll revert itself. It, yeah. I can't get used to this. It's absolute garbage. I hate it with a passion. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Uh, right, let's go for a chat. So Jif Jaff was in there first, saying hello. Okay. Bonjour. Okay. Bonjour. No. Hey. Robbie B. Good evening. All. 
Steve Partridge, good evening. Jim Bonjour. Clark saying another week has blown past us. Yeah. Enjoy the weekend, everyone. I'm glad this week has blown past because it's just felt like one of those really long weeks. Well, I, don't, I don't look forward to the weekend because it's just a Quite words and smash it with an hammer, Tim. No, no, not even that time of week. It's just been one of those weeks. I'm like, oh, I've just had enough of this week. Just, I get, to, I guess, I get to the Saturday morning. I get to have a bit of a lie in, and then I can take my boy to football. That's that's about as far as I'm getting. You need to share it with the group, Tim. I can I can share it with you if you want me to. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, Sean White says, "Saying good evening, all." Uh, PC forty four pilot evening all. Hmm. Not, not recognised that one before. Evening. Yep. Uh, Luke Ward says evening, guys. Tam McMillan evening. All drew one high. Drew one. Uh, PC forty four says he says I have loads of questions. Oh, wonderful. Well, keep us busy for the evening. Uh, Darren Moss says evening, everyone. Another Friday of spruness is upon us. Love that. Don't worry about the questions. Al has a pack of wor- worthers and he's ready to go. <laughs> Uh, Clark is there. Good evening, all from the sunny Norfolk. Uh, Tony Day. Yeah, at least least someone's got the sun. Uh, Norfolk's never been sunny. Oh, no, 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 it's clouds. Um, Tony Davey, good evening, guys. Hope everyone is chilling for the weekend. No, Uh, maybe. Yeah. No. Uh, Norman's in there saying evening fellow sprue fiddlers here's where your weekend starts maybe maybe mm-hmm. maybe depends if you've got work tomorrow and then it might not start until I, Saturday I, evening technically I've not got work but I've got about 13 jobs to go and look at <laughs> Wait, is, that, is that to make sure they haven't fallen down no that's so I can make sure I can keep affording lubrication for Tom Oh, fair enough. Yeah, Tom needs a lot of lubrication. In Tom, life. Needs a, Tom needs a lot of lubrication. Let me tell you, <laughs> that's just random. I know. Oh. <laughs> All will be revealed. I, uh, <laughs> I we we put diesel on our car for the first time uh, since the beginning of Feb the other day. I've only held my car for less than a week, and I've done one hundred and thirty-five pounds worth. Yeah. Yeah. I've I, 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 I put a ton in it and. That's we're about 65 quid good. a week in petrol. We've been, we've been nowhere, have we? No, oh, yeah, I've, been, I've, I've been absolutely everywhere in my car. <laughs> sliding, yeah. sliding around in your down, eh? You <laughs> you, 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 it, you. it was like Colin McRae yeah. right up until traction control went, naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> 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 well, uh, that and Sarah were screaming at me. And I won't. I won't like to think I'll buy tires for the back end of Tom. Let me tell you. Oh, oh. you're 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 going to be running out of yeah. stuff quite soon. You need to get a chip for it soon, Dan, because you're going to get bored of the power. I'm not. You are. I'm not. He's not. <laughs> you, are you, you are when you find out how much power you can get out of those diesels. Anyway, moving Read on. Let's move chat. on. Read the chat. It's all right. Luke Ward saying, Luke, you spoke to Apex Nelbon Primer today for the first time. I'm in love. Oh, oh uh, The LP trains nice. go through beautifully. Yeah, they do. Uh, Mark Coombs, evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope everyone is well. I almost didn't make it as I have not been well, and I thought you guys would cheer me up. Well, we'll, well have we'll 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 Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. We recognise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Luke, Luke isn't here tonight, but we, we, the rest of us will try and step up. Right. Have you tried? Has he tried flora, Tim? I don't know. Mark, get some flora and rub it on. <laughs> oh, it's short, geez. it's here good and go. thick. All right. The graphics were too graphic. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Runnigan's there saying hello, everyone. Uh, no. Scott, makes you la- out there, he makes you laugh every week. Yeah. Every Scott week. Fish and Runnigan together. Uh, <laughs> good evening, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I was there saying evening all. Patrick McGeever's evening, everyone. Evening all from Colin Jarvis. Oh, let me get, hello, Colin. Uh, John Howell. Uh, very good evening to everyone. Dwight of the Northern Star. I'll say mm. that in a rather strange way. Uh, hello from Amazonian weather for a few days in Minnesota, USA. Does it mean it's raining then? I'm guessing it's raining there, yes. Yeah, it's cool. rough. Is it the type of rain that's like, oh my God, I've never seen this much rain in my life? I think. Oh my, oh my God, quick, get a sandbag near the door. Is that sandbag? 
Where's where's <laughs> me boat and me uh, flip flops? Waders at the ready. Waders, uh, it's not that. Flip flops are fine. Feel it through. Feel, feel it flowing, flowing through your toes. That's what you want to do. Uh, oh. Astro Cat, lovely, jubbly evening. All. Oh. Uh, Joseph is there saying hello, guys. Very hot in southern Spain. Oh, very nice. Lucky boy. Mm. Lucky boy. It would be. Very uh, hot here. in a shed say in the evening. Oh. Good evening, John. Uh, saying, Dan, stop buffing your fep over you, your pervert. No, I am I am cleaning my expensive 3D printer. Mm -hmm. I have neglected, good buffing. I've neglected it for a week. And oh, yeah. I don't want, I you don't naughty want boy. <laughs> Uh, Maybe Jeff Light saying a very, a very good evening from Jeff Light. Uh, trust that all is well with you all. Um, Sprugle was saying, yeah, the new Russian Facebook sucks. Russian? <laughs> oh, I don't ask. I don't know. Daniel Croak saying good evening, everyone. Hope you're all well and safe. Evening, everyone, from Ben White. Willie Mac, evening, one and all. Good to see you all this mighty fine evening. Hey, Willie. Hi, Willie. Um, evening, everyone from Hey Mika. Uh, Spruger, yeah, Tom, nice but dim. Poor old Tom. Uh, Dan says he doesn't want to see Dan's peas and carrots. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's we have and we don't want to see it again. Yourself, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tim. Hey, we all saw that picture. You shared it around. Caesar's, <laughs> Caesar's there saying good evening, every good evening from Germany. Tony the Naked Modeler's air evening, everyone. Kim. Oh, Tony. Ooh. <laughs> I need, I was about to say that and I need to uh, come out wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Tim, uh, Kim Gundorf. I, I, knew, I so badly needed that wrong. Totally wrong there. Hello from Denmark. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, good evening, everyone, from Mark White. <laughs> Hello, uh, hello, Plastic Fanatics from Southport, and a good evening to Paul and the crew from Steve. Hello. Uh, Auntie's there saying howdy, folks. Howdy, doody. Uh, Jan Loftus. Hi, guys. Hope you all have had a good week. Yes, we have. E, Dan's there. Good e oh, evening, Daniel Blair. Happy Friday. Good to see the glare from Norm and Sam's heads brightness brightens the day. That's Norm Moon. Uh, RW Hobbies, evening everyone. Oh. Simon Reed, no great genius has ever existed without some touch of madness. Good evening, everyone. That's, 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 a bit, that's a bit correct, isn't it? I suppose. Andrew Callis there. Hi, gang. Hope everyone is well this fine Friday. The Wise Monkey. Woo! Hey, lads, have a blast. Yeah. Uh, Gats Vickers, morning all. Malcolm Plummer, evening everyone. Luke saying, I've gone from. Putting sixty a pound a week in the bike to spending sixty pounds since the beginning of lockdown. That's uh -huh. nice. That's a nice change. Ian's there, son. Evening, guys. Just landed back from the ice cream tour of the borders. Oh, no, nice one. I mean, if it, if, I tell you what. If you if you need your ice cream testing and giving a rating, Ian's your man. Ian's oh, your man. Yeah. I've, I've never know, known so many companies to make so much ice cream and then Ian be able to find all of them. Well done, Ian. Very jealous, I must say. Well, he's looking well, to be fair, as well, oh, isn't he? He's doing well. Yep, he's he doing is. well. He's, he's uh, looking really well. Yeah, well, he's out there enjoying himself. I, I'd, I'd look good if I was out there enjoying myself. myself. No, he wouldn't. No, so you wouldn't, Tim. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the majority there. Uh, John Stone, greetings, Slater, <laughs> Plastics. Have a great show and a great weekend, one and all. Stay safe. Aww. Keep banana man. Uh, Lowell, I can't believe it's not batter. <laughs> the Tim's but butter reference. <laughs> uh, Ricky, Ricky Paul Carson, e afternoon model masters. Wrong channel again, Paul. Yeah. Uh, Steve says it's raining in Devon. That's sad to hear. Mark Wiseman says oh, hi. All. Mark Ewing, uh, evening gentlemen from the lovely sunny Edinburgh. <laughs> that's a oh. lie, I'm sure. That's Edinburgh. another fib. Yeah. Uh, Sprugo, oh dear, Tim's on stand. No. I'm not on set up. I'm on the much better. Pims. Nope. Bira Moretti. Nice stuff, this Bira Moretti. I think I think it's an Italian beer because it's got an Italian on the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> these are 
or don't. It, yeah, stand, by, it, stand by for an insult. Well, no, I'm just. It, it, I think it's mm-hmm. not Italian. I can't. I don't know what Italians look like, but I'm not too sure if he really Let's is. Leave that there and move straight on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't say. Oh no! Look, it might. Oh. It's, it's not Italian. It's, it's British. It's oh. brewed in the UK by Heineken. Mm. Oh. In, in Edinburgh, so it couldn't be any less Italian if it wanted to, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's only like Budweiser, the American brand that's brewed in England. Yeah, like ne- next to the Thames, next to the Dirty Thames. That's where yeah. yeah, where does yeah. you get the water from? Yeah, well, uh, that's what gives it that unique taste and colour. <laughs> <And color. laughs> yeah. yes. It comes color. out the river like that. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yes, yeah, so we're all red to hear. Oh, Christopher C saying hello, everyone. There we go. Hello. Hello, Christopher. Hello. Hello, Christopher. Oh, oh nice, Paul. I like, I like your inclusion of what you've been. Uh, oh, my God. Minis? I've never seen them before. Mm-hmm. Does that mean you just eat them a lot quicker? Yeah, they're really good, actually. Okay. Uh, and why is it called Tom then, Dan? Because it sounds like Tom Jones when you stick your foot in it. Mm. But right. old and decrepit. Yeah. Oh, no. A bit of a walking stick clanging along the floor. No, it probably is. It's a flat cap caught in the fan belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm, I've, I've made it in the in world now. I own my own house and I own a Jag. I'll make go. Uh, all I need is a wax jacket and a shotgun in back, and I'm sorted. Well, Dan, I can help it. Well, no. <laughs> not a sawn off, <laughs> Sam. Not a sawn off, mate. <laughs> I was going to say the jacket. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> as long as you take the balaclava out of the pocket, Sam. It's in my drawer. It doesn't fit me anymore because my hair's mm. just been cut. Ah. It's next to my head. You can't pull it down over my face. It's like Velcro. Yep. <laughs> it's itchy, in it, Sam? It is, mate. Nobody would ever know it was me, though. Oh, uh, completely inconspicuous. Yeah. <laughs> what did he look like? I don't know because he blocked the light out. <laughs> I don't know because he got a balaclava on. Yeah. <laughs> let's, have, let's have a look. Let's have a look. See what. Top you had only seven fingertips. <laughs> Scars on his arms. You got five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> on this hand, yeah. Of course I am. Well, that we was brilliant. Right. That we one. all red, are we? Hey, we all red. Oh yeah, we all red. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's mm. have all TDI tuning. Do the Jaguar tuning. <clears throat> Dan, hello. Don't tune it. No, it's I'm, I'm doing nothing to it. It's the as soon as you start tuning them, they get unreliable. Yeah, maybe oh. a remap ECU. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, oh, you just don't chip on it. Don't go, have... don't go. Well, it's not chipped anymore, is it? It's a remap, isn't it? Yeah, same. Have, uh, no, it's I not. No, it's uh, not. Now, now, no. Years ago, they used to take the chip out and put a new one in. Now they just remap yes. it, don't they? Yeah. The same no. similar thing. No, no, it depends hugely on the on the on the uh, ECU. I'll put money on that one being remapped because mine is. It's the same era car. What engine? What engine you got, Dan? Uh, two seven V six. TDC TDCI, yeah. I it's um, so so turbo diesel, yeah. The diesel. Yes, the diesel, isn't it, Dan? <laughs> there you are. I wonder if that's the Volvo engine bored out a little bit. No, Could be from the R uh, the, the two point uh, five, yeah, the two point five focus engine. Yeah, could be. I there you go, it, Dan. It, make, it makes sense to do it. I said, that oh, Dan, dude, from 200, 200 brake to two hundred and fifty seven. Yeah, it's good. Right, two hundred thirty five torque to five hundred and eighteen. Wow. Yeah. No, Wait, Dan Dan that. That. So you know the way you think you're going through tires now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and and suspension com- suspension components, bushes, brakes. But you go faster, so you go. exhausts. You're going to kill the car. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. he's going to kill it. It's got two thirty, so I'm happy with that. 
If you could get a mild remapper, just maps it so it's more efficient. No, yeah, those those maps that that's like maximum. That'd be worth it. Yeah. The only thing that is technically not as well, it is standard, but it, they are Jaguar wheels. Are the nineteen inch um, aftermarket rims that it's got on, but they are <laughs> Jaguar. They are Jaguar wheels. Yeah. And I wouldn't like to think I'll buy in a set of them either. <laughs> not, that bad. not that bad, mate. Not as bad as you think. Should, should be about 120, 140 quid a tyre. Uh, the tyres, yeah. If I have to buy rims, then, yeah. Oh, the rims, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I'm on 18s. and the Next size up, I got... What did I get, Michelin? I got sports for the back when I got them. No, I didn't. I got Pirelli P0s. And they yeah. were 125. Yeah, you can get good get good deals from Takanti House, mate. The cheapest yeah. I could find. Well, they're pretty much brand new tires that's on it, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, yeah, we're out fast. Yeah. Get it shipped down. Have some fun. I do. Yeah, it's it's yeah. I've gone from that little 1400 Fiesta to a 27 V6, and yeah, I can see me getting into a small modicum of trouble with the Popo, if I'm honest. <laughs> but you were mad enough in the Fiesta. Yeah, well, no, we'll put it this way: nobody's beat me off the lights since last Saturday. Nobody. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> the electric handbrake is mint because you pull it on, and then you ain't got to touch it again because the second you stomp on that throttle, it automatically lets off, and then you're. Is it a non- manual? Is it manual? No. Why are you using a the handbrake then? Because it's easier to beat everybody off at the lights when I stand on it in Titronic. <laughs> okay. Are you you're not taking out of gear when you stop, are you? Hey, no. They don't, they don't all have they don't all have um hold, hold, brake hold. Okay. Oh, so is it got um an hey, 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 I'll, I'll be honest, mate. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even use the Tiptronic. I'll just hoof it in auto. Well, I can hoof it in auto and it does fly in auto, but the Tiptronic is really, really good. Okay. Yeah, it is. And you get to use every rev in the engine, and it sounds amazing when, you know, when you're on like a 40 mile an hour speed limit road, and you're doing 120 in like seconds, and it's you look down, and you think, oh my god, and then you have to press the brakes. Yeah, it's it's it is like that. It's a very I've never been in a big car. I mean, it's got to be two and a half tons. I've never been in a big car that's that fast. It's and I've had a big car before, but yeah, it weren't that fast. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, what are we work on tonight, everyone? Trumpet or Husky? Hey, Sam. Nice. Excellent. Where were you, Al? Uh, uh, 130 second. Tamiya F15E Strike Eagle with Tank Buster Bomb thingy. What's his touch? Norman. That's front. Dragon 135 Saladin. Give him uh-huh. the 255 and rest. Started then, yeah? Well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Open the box. Dan? <clears throat> uh, I will be attempting wheels and tracks as soon as I finish this uh, 3D printer bat. Cool. Uh, Tim? I think I've got to start painting that King Tiger because if I don't, I'll never get it paint- finished. So <clears throat> that's what I'll start doing tonight. Mask up the lower hole, <laughs> mask up the lower hole and uh, get the top painted. I, uh, I've got. I just painted all the fairings on the bike red. Um, so I'm kind of stuck now as to what to do. Uh, hmm. Good start, your T55. That's up, yeah. Oh, don't. Uh-huh. You prat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start mine later. He's a good comedian, isn't he? Is Norm? Yes. Yeah. Oh, everybody's enjoying it, mate. You want to hear them complain? You know, what praise what time? Uh, John Heaven, what time is kickoff? Well, now. Let's write the links up, John. Hello. Hello. Hey, Hello. Half past seven, mate. On the dot. Okay, cool. Oh, Sam's starring in a coffee commercial. There, look. 
<laughs> is that Nesca hot? Nescafe, coffee at its best. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was going to say something, but no. Oh, that's a poor joke, Steve. That's really poor, mate. What? Oh, dear. What? In chat, Steve. I think he needs to go and stand in corner and think about what he said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know as well. Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, do you want to do what we're Tim? Well, you start inhaling biscuits. I'm not going to do anything like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need yeah. to do stuff and we'll get that out of the way first. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm well, I'm only up. watching. I'm only watching. Okay, well, 88. Oh, 88 isn't many, is it? Thumbs up, people. Hang on. No, that come out wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, thumbs up, Dan. That's what don't you like that down the park. <laughs> you don't like that down the park. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> screen. That one there. Scream if you want to go faster. Right, that working? Yep. There yep. we go. Right, yeah, we're going to start off with Bradley. I mean, look, he got a little cat. Oh, oh, oh that is a cute little uh, cat. Now, can I just say, because this is going to open the floodgates, I know what's going to happen here because it's happened before. This week, this is fine. Next week, anything non mod related, get deleted. Yes. Because okay. we'll end up with everything. And I'll tell you what, if it does happen, I'll put our weekly shopping in there, every item, over 100 items, and I'll sit there and go through them all. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is, and you, these lot know I'll do it, and most people who know me watching know I'll do it. <laughs> it's modeling okay. stuff, people. Uh -huh. Modeling. I'm modeling. No, you won't, because I'll. Yeah, we, do, we do. It do need to just have it modeling yeah, in there. We read it. Bloody day, looking at people's. Yeah. Bloody, I don't know new shit. thongs and batteries for the dildos and all sorts of shit. <laughs> Damn, get your AAs up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are, they are they D cells in your? <laughs> they're D cells for the size he has. <laughs> Hang on, what are you trying to say, Tim? Uh, cavernous is a good word. Oh, cavernous! Anyway. <laughs> well, he <laughs> insinuating uses it. This is what I'm interested in. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, uh, well. John, John Stone got himself the Tacoma uh, Flank 40s villain. That's cool. Oh, that's why he turned down. That's a good bit of a uh, kit, that one. And he got himself that new uh, Ming British warrior. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Mr. McCord got himself a Bradley. Oh. You've been chewing on the box. I was going to say. <laughs> no, I it... came that way, believe it or not. Jesus. Is, is that you? Right? Yeah, I've been second, second hand that box. Yeah, actually. These, so. are, these are better. These look like they're from a reputable company. Oh, they are, yes. So yeah, nice, uh, they, they look like you've been chewing on them as well. It's just like you've been sitting on them for a while. What's going on here? Oh, hungry? Hungry. <laughs> Rachel <laughs> wasn't here the day from my lunch. Uh, I know he said get more fibre. <laughs> he thought they were my pizza. Oh, that's a terrible moment. Terrible. terrible. Anyway, moving on. So you've got the, the Type 10 tank and the uh, T55 Russian. That, that's more of a T55 for the build right there. That is a perfect yeah, T55. I, I was going to get and No, no, the a mini over it. Yeah, uh, did a video. Much better than the tackle one. Yeah. Oh, I'll get Tony again, me. I'll get you, Dennison. It's Tony's fault. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, yours. Definitely. Same as the F15. So, uh, Sam. No, <laughs> you. Definitely you. We said this before. It was definitely you. I'm pretty sure we all remember this being normal. Yes, isn't? we all remember it being you, Norman. <laughs> definitely. Which normal. one is it? It's the C. I wasn't quite listening. Two days later, it dawned on me. Like, hang on, did he say the C? That was me. Is it? <laughs> right, so many bought three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so there's some daft get one one, so I'm not bothered. Yeah, we'll say nothing. <laughs> uh, also got the. Uh, there's a lot of numbers and letters there. You got a T72 with a uh, with a howitzer on the top. That's cool, yeah. isn't it? It's is quite a cool bit of kit. That. It's mega. That thing. Shame hasn't got a T55 base because that would have been good for the build. Yeah, I could have done it though. Mm. Uh, Ronnie Hansen's got himself a couple of nice bits of resin. Uh, the Lamborghini Centenario. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Roadster 770 and the Bugatti Chiron. Single-handedly, the most pestering person I've ever spoke to, the guy that owns that company. 
Oh, I thought, you, I thought you were going to say about Ronnie then. No, not Ronnie. <laughs> no, no, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Alpha models. models must have emailed me about 50 times about buying these at discounts. Yeah. I don't want to buy one. I said, if he wants to give me one, I'll review it. I don't want to buy one. And he must have emailed me. I had to block him in the end. Because <laughs> he just uh, wouldn't do it. What do you reckon, Freak the Biscuit, is a five or a tenner? Mm. Can we uh, see top uh, right? You're in the you top right corner. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, I don't know if it shows on YouTube. Might be a saving grace. Two seconds. I thought it went on its own. Oh, no, it does, now. mate. It does oh, show Oh, wow! That's no, not fair. It's had, you. it's had your pants down. Oh. Hang on, oh. no, it's on me. It might have missed you. Oh, no, it's got you. It has got you. Oh. We'll let you off. We'll let you off. Go on, carry on, mate. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so, uh, Alan Parker treated himself to the bench vent, uh, a pegboard. Okay, that one bit here. And right. some Mr. Hobby Glue applicators. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. Nice. Hot glue. That, no. that pegboard don't look bad, actually, to be fair. No, it's not a bad idea. But that's you start, is it? No, it's not. V hobby. You okay. can get them from you can get them pegboards from Wish. I'm just I'm just putting that yeah, out. We, we've seen that meme I put in the chat a few weeks back from Wish. Yeah. Well, I got one off of Wish because uh I think you're about two quid. Sarah ordering some other bits and bobs, and I ordered one. And they are good, but the holes are quite tight, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Just give it that <laughs> batteries again. It'll soon loosen. <laughs> you need, yeah, you need to. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sean's got some stuff. Yeah, so Sean White was working away for the most of the part of the week and came home Sunday morning to this little lot. That's not a little lot. That's quite a lot. A lot. That's quite a lot. A lot. Some numbers, a lot, there, Tim. Some numbers. He, he got himself some cheeky UMP order. Nice. Some sandies, some burnishy, some cleany. Polishy, sticky, painty, and primary. So for those watching that I'm going to call Tim's on about, that is burnishing fluid, UMP cleaner, <laughs> polishing system, our primers, some glue holders, uh, and our sanders. Do, 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 do. And a sticky. And a sticky. <laughs> Forgot the sticky. We got a manty. A man, very man, that is very manty. I like that one. It was quite good with the two different wheels. It's not, it's Sam built that. I said it wasn't very good though. It's anything. I didn't enjoy it at all. I haven't, I haven't built it though, but I've not seen anybody else complain. So I think it's just Sam, to be honest. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, all, he's all finger and no thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Good. Three fingers, oh, no thumbs. Poor Sam. Uh, oh. You got the Airfix Heinkel HE116 for the motorhead scheme. Excellent. Cool, and I think you still get a record in that one. You actually get a vinyl record in there. Yeah, you get a vinyl record in there. So, like everything else, Airfix make is the vinyl all bent and warped full of. Oh yeah, record, isn't it? No, but if you send it to Sam, it will be. It's the Aries Spades. You got the mini arts mini roller. Uh, uh, detail that parts for the Delta and the Delta S4. I need to get I need to get one of those Deltas. See, they're doing the six R four big walk around book. Ah, what's that about? They're uh, walking around a six R four. Crazy. I don't have a My oh. old Costco executive chair was crippling my Harris. Um, chance my arm on one of these off Amazon. So much more comfortable for the fairly cheap price. That's I could excellent. get one bomb. I probably got one bomb cheek on there. Luck Racer. Yeah. I must yeah. say that's not the, the name doesn't hold up well to um, quality standards. But it doesn't it look, look too bad. It looks all right as long as the it wheels don't right. fall off. Does look all right. Sit there, the wheel falls off one night. No, I don't want that. Um, Luke Ward got himself a UMP. Aldo got the new Honda Five Blade, the VFR Seven Fifty R. Quite a nice looking bike. That mm -hmm. primer, thinner primer, sticky. Sandy and a spray. Nice new Apex there. Very cool. Very nice. He okay. went and mad and bought himself the top studio detail set for the MP44, the MP44 itself, some decals and a mask for the wheels, and then some detail set for the VR VFR750. I bet it really needs that whole kit. That was well, that 750 VFR as well. Yeah, I built that ages ago. Good looking bike. Basically, it's the it same is. as the RG30, really. Good yeah. wear. Well, uh, also fish tank and some goldies for the little girl. Yeah. Very nice. Are we allowed fish tanks, Paul? Is it model related? No, it's not. Have you seen mine on there? <gasps> uh, 
Yeah. Oh, no, what no, I'll no. do next week? No, 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 Why don't I get a new shrimp in my tank with one of Piers? I'll take a picture. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got, I've, there's probably about 200 in it at a minute. So, yeah, how, how, how you, 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 maybe, maybe, what we can do, maybe what we should do is yeah. on the first Friday of every month, we do uh, other things you've bought of interest. Yeah, that might not so, be a bad idea. So, yeah. Just so it doesn't take over this. Yes. Yeah. With, you know, pictures of glasses and bananas and <laughs> walking sticks. Tumblers. And buys normally. Yeah. Uh, and we just do it once a month on that. Any, you know, interesting purchases you've had this month. And we'll do that. Yeah, might not be a bad we'll idea. Start, we'll, start, we'll start that. Uh, will it be next week? Beginning, beginning of next month. Is I'll next do week? two posts then. We'll make up another picture. Ah, uh, no. Me. It'll be the week after. Oh, I tell you what, we'll do the last Friday of every month. We'll do it next week. Okay, cool. Sounds All good. right, so we'll do a modelling one and a non-modelling one every once a month. We'll do the non, just because oh. we all have good stuff and we all like to share it. And we'll if, do, we're not, we'll do. if we're not friends on Facebook, and I don't use Facebook like that anyway, you don't, no one gets to see you crap. No. At the end of the day, and you do get some good. You get a lot of good, good fish stuff. Yeah. D- Sam drives a lot, buys a lot of good drugs. Um, <laughs> no, he sells them. Ten, ten oh, he sells, sells them. them. Sorry, sells ten, them. Ten, oh, sells, sells, sells. Half chewed. Uh, well, no, uh, Dan bot sells. Yeah, we can't yeah, skip along. Al, Al's got a massive mast. I mean, yeah, that's good, good stuff. It's an erection, Tim. It's an erection. Sorry, erection. sorry. Are we allowed to put pictures of Al's erection on Facebook? Will it allow us? I think it would. Well, I get one. As long as it's not flopping about, it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. I don't want the floppy picture. So should okay. me, and, me and Dan delete our pictures from this week? Can I leave my crisps in? No, leave your crisps in. <laughs> <laughs> you get my shopping next week. I'm oh, telling you right God. now. Oh yeah. yeah. We have all these bananas. We got tin of beans. Another tin of beans. That's called Derek. That's called Ian. That's did you, cold, did you get? Did you get beans and sausage? Did you get beans and sausage together though? Oh, name on shopping. Oh, yeah. That's a brilliant idea, Norman. Yep. This is Terry the crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, Willie the Walkers. Oh, still have empty. Did you share your shrimp and individually name them as well? Yeah? I, you, you thing is, Tim. You know I could. Oh, you would. <laughs> <laughs> this is Billy Rudiger, to Williger, Tobias. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling Tim's going to be talking a lot next week. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to read it out, so don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, moving on, moving on. Uh, so Kevin, ooh, Kevin uh, has Kevin. just got this from Atlantis Models. I'm uh, reliving my childhood. Okay. King Chopper th- two. That That's is uh, seventies, isn't it? Yeah, that is uh, one ugly bike. Yeah, that is. Three uh, and the one with the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the three. Oh, look, look, oh my! I found I found the new gigolos. Look at the look at that vulture in the background there. Is yeah. Oh, and there's one sat on the bike. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's in found some gigolos. Look. Yeah. yeah. Gigolos. He looks very happy at the front. Where's that bloke's hands on the left? He hasn't got any hands. <laughs> no. Or is that his hand? Is that it's his, on his shoulder, mate? So where's his hand, or is that his hand? Mm. It's on his shoulder. We look on his shoulder. No, <laughs> that's the right. That's the bloke on the I right. That's his hand. Where, where, where's this arm gone? <laughs> very interesting. He's, I think he's working like a puppet. <laughs> and this is this has gone down how quick tonight, yeah. hasn't it? We're, yeah. Wearing him like a puppet. Uh, Luke got himself the uh, warrior from Ming. Very nice. nice. Got some UMP restock. Lots of our clad. Yeah. Semi gloss. Oh no, aqua gloss. Sorry. Don't forget to finger tighten the lids only. Yeah. I finger think there's, a, rem- there's a reminder on the bo- there's a reminder on the bottle somewhere. I can't quite remember. No, it. Yeah, I'm wondering your way. Primer cleaner. Uh, Tape holder. It's a coin uh, holder for you chocolate coins at Christmas. <laughs> um, they don't last that long. Uh, Harry bow, tangy mouth situation. Uh, that is the Azu tape holder in the middle, which is very, very good. LP9s and a sticky on the, for the sticky. Sticky, sticky. Very nice. Um, Jeff Light's been catching up on unpacking deliveries <laughs> that I've been receiving over the last 14 days. Wow. He's uh he's gone full send with that thing, hasn't he? Yeah, Ooh, Challenger Ooh, Mark One. Some decals for the Challenger Two, which doesn't go with that, obviously. Yeah. Challenger Mark One main battle tank, uh echelon um markings. Wow. Challenger two tracks, challenger one tracks, some photo etch, a load of Abrams. Oh, he's got all three kits. Cool. Yeah. 
Very nice. And tracks for them. Very nice. Oh. Oh. And some bookies. Oh, very nice. Not so, like, not so nice. long books on them. Very yeah. nice. They're good, aren't they? Well, from what we can see from the front cover, yeah, might be blank sure, pages yeah. inside for all we know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah three pages. Yeah. That's a really good book. How do you know? I don't. Lots of echelon, lots of echelon good stuff. They usually do good quality stuff, then guys. So I'm sure it's uh, going to be good. And three acrylic, three acrylic display cases. Oh, that looks familiar. That looks familiar. Yeah, it does. It look familiar. Yeah. I got, yeah. Jeff must use my link. Nice one, Jeff. Well done, Jeff. How about case for the money? To be fair. No, oh, text too. model there. Uh, Opie watches the show. Tex, uh, probably link somewhere. It's on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Check the internet, it'll be there. Yeah, uh, look, yeah, look on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Search for display case, it'll be come up. It'll come up. Um, Jim, Jim Clark's been wanting the Jim Clark, Jim Clark Team Lotus. Oh, Pretty sure yeah. Jim Clark did drive that, didn't he? Uh, he's been wanting one of these for a while, but couldn't find one at a fairly reasonable price. This one popped up on eBay last week here in the States, so I jumped at the chance and got lucky. Mm. So Jim Clark will be dual building Jim Clark's Lotus. It's kind of like an obligation, don't you think? Cheers all and have a great weekend. Nice uh, one. Beautiful car. Nice one, Jim. Very yeah, nice. Nice, nice, Jim. Right. nice, nice, nice. Uh, Steve Partridge picked up at my local wheel shop. I'm not great with the decals on the Phantom. That's 309 of them. What? Sorry. Yeah, I'm not great with the decals, and the Phantom has 309 of them. Oh, sorry, 309 of the deck. What? And that 172 yep. has got 309 yep. decals. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Wow. I, I, I will, which go, one? With, Phantom. I will yep. go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're going to need 20 decals in reality because that's all you're going to see. You're fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. That's a lot of decals on there. Uh, Blackburn Buccaneer and I think it, that is a let me do this quickly hang on do that uh, the Lancaster, Lancaster Dam Buster special very nice I watched that this afternoon cool what was it about um, fishing <laughs> <laughs> did they catch much yeah a couple of bridge a couple of dams <laughs> blew a massive load Oh. All right, Norman. No, don't lower the tone. Yeah. <laughs> been clean so far. Time. This always happens. Uh, yeah, it's been it's clean. Plummeted, it's plummeted. Uh, uh, Steve Partridge got himself a truck. That's a very bussing truck. Cool, I know. Uh, got himself also the Cougar, hmm. the United States Air Force F twenty two, and a United huh. Navy F eighteen. I think I built that middle kit for email years ago as a video build. Long, long uh, time. It's got a dodgy fit that on the cockpit to uh, fuselage fit. It doesn't fit very well at all. <coughs> Be careful that, mate. I'm pretty sure it's a kit I did. Probably. Uh, yeah, he's also got the uh, the bike from UMP. Good. Superb. Yeah. Such a nice bike. Yeah, this is Dan's Tom. Dan 770 number plate. Oh, yeah. hang on, I can make that out. Oh, hang on, Sierra Julia F58, Alpha, Kilo. <laughs> I could just make that. It looks like golf. That's a beautiful machine, Dan. Nice one. Well, you need to get rid of them air fresheners, though, mate. They look a bit weird. Oh, I've, I've already got a new air freshener. A bit, bit chavy, then, mate. A bit chavy. They, they what came supplied from the um, um, garage, let's yeah, say. Yeah, it's, it's funny. They must, like, get cars in with air freshener and just put them on other cars. Oh my god! I came with a really dodgy air freshener. So it's yeah, good. it smells very funky. Let's say. So th things you can add on here, Dan, are you see these uh, chrome things down the bottom? Yeah. The later spec version had daytime running lights inside them, so you can get them as an add-on extra. Just just so you know, if you do, if you if you want to start playing with anything, you can change those to uh, daytime. If I'm running. honest. If I'm honest, I like it standard. If I'm honest, I like a nice yeah. car standard because then yeah. it looks, it, yeah. I, I it think cool it is. final wrap it purple. Oh, yeah. A big spoiler on the back, some oh, racing yeah. stripe up the front. And, um, Do you know what? Hey, sun, hey, a sun strip with Dan and Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rather chuck myself off a motorway bridge. A cover over <laughs> the back seat to stop any unsavory spills. <laughs> you could have put all in purple warrior right now. No, 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 no. I've got a better idea. It needs vinyl down the side, Tom. 
Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah Tom. It definitely it's screaming for a private place. It is uh, to be fair, and I have been looking and I found one uh, last night for about seven hundred quid. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what one was it? You remember? Uh it got DJS in it, me initials. Oh nice. I'll sell you one, Dan, but it says MCC four eleven on it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, nice one, Dan. And I call on the important one, it's in my crisp and chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dad, <laughs> uh, got some munchies. Ooh, cookie dough. Yeah, Very cookie nice. dough. They were nice. They're gone now. The bag's empty. It's in the bin. Oh, is it? Oh, oh I shame. Yeah, I've still got the Pringles, though. Are you no, do, hang on. Are you doing a video build? <laughs> um, I haven't got one before. I'll have one after. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll, it'll, be out, it'll be out at about 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, God, no. And the video. <laughs> uh, it'll be oh, up next uh, week folks you can watch it live here uh, those Pringles are awesome little mini ones right, cool. nice. and also, also I had a picture of the bike I haven't I must not have shown a picture of the bike anywhere I must have nope. so I'm sure I put a picture of it. I must not so I used the video build one so the first part of that will be up I reckon so a paint today uh, paint tomorrow decal Monday There'll be a video built mm -hmm. midweek, Wednesday or Thursday. The first part will be up. Cool. It's painted red at the minute. Uh, lastly, Eric Graham. Oh, to pick up. Ah! The uh, 92 Twice of 4x4 pickup. Mm. Now, I'm pretty sure, is not that not the car? You say Back to the Future, aren't you? Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's a newer version of it. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was. I was 90, thinking, 92, and that's like 12 years after. But, uh, uh, hang on. Eight, ten, hang on. 84 when it Back to the Future. I, can't, I couldn't remember the year. Was, I was, was it 84? Then. Was it newer than that? Anyway, it, it looks like it, but knowing Toyota, it's probably a newer one, isn't it? But it does look like it. Don't even put a ball bar on it with the KC. Yeah, yeah, bank, KC bank, bank, sorry, they, it's probably, they probably changed the headlights on the. That's probably about it. The thing is, back then we all looked at that truck. Like, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. And you look at it now, and you're like, meh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> two, two, two seats. It's probably like a two liter diesel. Oh gosh, really, yeah. Really slow. It's got a radio cassette in it. And you're like, nah. <laughs> 1985, mate. Oh, apparently, Ludwig's saying it was a Nissan pickup in Back to the Future. Was it Nissan, was it? Oh, really? There you go. They all, they all look very much the same you, as that. You, you've ruined it now. <laughs> Sorry. Save the point, then. I can't watch Back to the Future ever again. A Nissan, eh? I didn't know I that. I watch it ever again. No, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, we've got 108 watching. Uh, we've got 45 likes. Oh, we've got two thumbs down. Get oh, it no. Yeah, oh. boy, I've annoyed somebody that much. Or way off. It, you know what it is? It's crisps. It is. Gary. <laughs> Try hard. It's not Gary, is it? Probably Gary thumbs down the video of the day. I never missed oh, it. Oh, Gary. Oh. Shameful. Shameful. You let him back in. He was in here at the time and he admitted it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a bus bathroom <laughs> under it. <laughs> Uh, we've got some comments to read. I'm surprised at you, Mr. Paisley. Oh. <clears throat> Trying to see where we were up to. 985 is Back to the Future. I was close. It was a year out. 35 years ago. It was an SR5. And the original Toyota SR5. Never knew that, did you? No, no neither did I. Oh, nope. that right. out Let's read some chat. Where are we at? Where, are we at? Uh, where did you end it? Where I said, can't see. Red oh, there it is. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Right, no, yeah. I haven't. No, I haven't. Do ah, we go. Yeah, Christmas sees there saying hello. Uh, Eric says evening and hello. Do you have a beer brewing? Dwight says he thinks Budweiser is owned by now by Czech company, probably. Uh, 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 apparently, everyone's saying you go to jazz, Dan. <laughs> Dan says the best way to tune a jag is to turn it in for an Audi. Well, that's a bit cold. <laughs> uh, 
Ba, 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 ba. Too much money in scaffolding. Hey, no, they're in. It's not enough. Uh, can I read anything that's worth reading? Is it whipped, Sam? What? No idea. Dwight says, what's new with the Honda, Paul? Uh, body, Ten minutes, guys. Body work. What? Ten minutes or what? I'll have to chat right before that. I know. Um, Dwight says, what's new with the Honda, Paul? Well, I've all the body works prepped. It's been primed. I've masked some of it off, sprayed some of it red. I need to unmask tomorrow, mask it the other way, spray the blue, and then we're ready for decals, and then we're ready for 2K. I can't like you're finished. No. Bit oh. distracted with what's going on here today. This has been a right nightmare. Um, I oversprayed my LP, put it on too thick. So I just need to let it dry, sand it back a bit, and give it another coat. Okay. So, pain in the ass. Uh, what's new with the hand that read that? Is it weird in to see Paul's weekly shop? Oh, stand by. That might be the. Oh. Uh, front, it'll be front and back as well. Front barcodes. I'll write down the barcodes for you. <laughs> a link A link to where it is on Asda. <laughs> I'll set, oh. set there for three hours and do it. Uh, <laughs> Max says, How are we today? We're okay, mate. Uh, Daniel says he likes tie holes. Slack mm. ass. <laughs> Steve says, see, spot will have the bell kit 6R4 and stuff. Yeah, we will too, mate. And by the time you get it from them, we'll have it and we don't charge like 12 quid postage to post a kit out. Yeah, 11 pounds for a set of decals. Yeah, spot, yeah spot will those postage is Bloody ridiculous. Eight quid to post a set of decals. Yeah. Uh, Spirou Grew is going to take pictures of his fungal nail infection next week to post them. Oh, oh yeah, I can show you a picture of my wound in the top of my leg if you want. He will oh, nail that. that. He will nail that. I'll even send you a dressing. <laughs> he will as well. UMP supermarket sweep next week, indeed. <laughs> PC Parley got himself a Ferrari F40. Nice, real one. Uh... Pringles in the bag. Yeah, Pringles in the bag. Hey, so, good, Andy. so good, Andy. So good, Andy. That can only mean like crumbs in a bag, not Pringles. No, no. They're full size. It's it's not a full size Pringle. It's little mini ones. Oh. oh. Little oh. tiny ones. They're great. I've already had one bag and the other one's calling me over there. <laughs> the, the other one's beckoning. Ah. Gateway. Yeah. Go. Toyota SR5 it was. And so it wasn't in this time. Uh... Yeah, you were, Alice. Thank you very much for giving me a thumbs down and telling me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles Stanham says, I hope you're really, you're all well. Lost Mojo with that Rebel 132 F18. Put it away there, mate, and build something else. Yep. Yep. Jason says he's CBR 1000 RRR ride today. Looking forward to watching part one of the video build. Yes, mate, me too. Are you all, Al, are you fly swap with elastic bands? Yes, I need to feed Christine. Ah. You're trying to hear you're trying to hear flies or elastic band? Yeah. Okay. I missed it. Well, you are running the light that I'll work. Well, you're the firing the elastic band of flies. <laughs> Just flicking it. Ah. That's why. You are running light in the light that works a treat. Yeah. What? I can't do that. Can you? Lovely mate. <laughs> there we go. Right, we've got we've got a final verdict on the pickup in Back to the Future. You ready? So it was an SR5, known as the high looks everywhere else in the world, but Marty's one in the film was fourth generation body. That kid shown here is a fifth generation Bobby. I think he means Bobby. I, knew, I said it would be the same car, it's a different one, didn't I? And Kevin McNamara, whose name I love saying, says even it all. Cool name. Oh and there we go. So that's just done for that, everyone. We'll catch y'all next week. Bye. Hey, hey. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way to bed. Power of turn. Okay. Uh, let's go back over there. There we go. Uh, apparently, we're ready to hear. Yep.
Can we not? Can we not move to there? Bye, guys. Spruga says bye, guys. I'm going to carry on. Just don't know. <laughs> Spruga's off. See you, Spruga. Bye. Yep. Good luck. Didn't say long, did he? No. Uh, that's my line, you git. <laughs> I love saying that. I'm say, like saying that more than see you. Didn't stay long, did he? So, yeah, I, I don't, I'm a bit stuck at stuff to do tonight. I could do the engine on the NSX, but it means me filming again. It's a bit of a pain. Plus, everything's on charge, as you can see. BP says, question, please, fellas. Is that the question, Paul, or have you got more? <laughs> Far ahead, Paul. <laughs> when you ready, Dave? Do you mean Paul? Yeah, sorry. When you ready, Paul? <laughs> yeah. <Maybe>. Uh, <laughs> we were only on about that other day, me and Sarah. Oh, my God. We must have laughed for hours about that. That, that. And the bit with uh, Dukey the dog. Should they get his oh, balls? Yeah. You leave him alone. Balls alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when he grabs his ass, getting in the car. <laughs> but yeah, that bit. Uh, when you're ready, John. Do you mean really Paul? Oh. <laughs> Would you like these? Nah, I can't listen to music while I'm shooting. <laughs> uh, uh, rocks up wish. Pump action. Yeah. Iggy Higgins. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bank robber. Yeah, but safety. Hey. Uh, BP Modern says, how long to wait for an oil wash to dry before a clear coat? Uh, oil, um, I'd rather use enamel than oil, to be honest, mate. It dries a bit quicker. Oil can take forever. Yes. Uh, that's why I never bought a clear coating for oil, so I just put it on the paint. Um, is there any reason why you clear coating it, Paul, in particular? Could be all right, but I'd leave it at least a couple of days. Because they reckon all never truly dries, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Well, thanks, Depends man. how much uh, fire you use. Oh, there we go. What have we got watching? Let's have a look. We've got 120. We've got 59 thumbs up. Got Dan Coyton and uh, Back to the Future. Hold on. Only Norses now. Mons 2. Shatter uh, Nerf the Pap. <laughs> no, it's not goodbye. It's Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, Paul, what about the P38? What about it, Daniel? <laughs> it's an aircraft. Yeah, uh, uh, it's in the pipeline, Dan. It's in there, mate, to get back to it. What's happened to Tom? Tom's gone. He's probably eaten. <laughs> I uh, thought about clear code because I want to do more oils on top about reactivating the pool. So, okay, explain what you're doing. You've done an oil wash. I think you've done a pin wash. I'm going to guess you want to do a oil dot render. Is it now? Is that right? Close enough. We'll find out. <sighs> I guess we now. It, enamel paint uh, washes are better, but only because they dry a little bit quicker. But I use oils bad on clear coats. That's why I'm trying to look at what you're doing. And I reckon I can answer this question by you watching one of my videos. Yeah, pretty much. Right, go watch my challenger build, Paul. Um, where I do an open wash and all that rendering on top of each other, and it makes no difference to it at all. Doesn't do a thing to the oil wash. Yeah. Go watch my challenger build, mate. It's on the channel. That's why y'all need to watch my videos. Yeah, full of full of information. Most of it's useless. Yeah, you don't need to clear coat between mediums. I don't think you do. I never do. There's another Del Boy coat there. Watch, yeah, Ch Challenger Bill Paul, specifically part three. Two, I think. Was it three? The dot filters in the other one? Yeah. I think it's three. Is it three? Is it? But watch it all, Paul. You, you might enjoy it. You never know.
to say. You want any videos? Go look at my videos. Yeah, Kev, no, everybody knows. I do videos. Well, to be honest, Kev, I get ignored by a lot of people, if I'm honest. Timothy. And that's up to that. No, no, I don't mean that. Mm. Haters or people who are silly enough to listen to other people. But so hey, what can I do? I make videos, I make content for free. I can't do any more than that. Mm. But it answer a lot of questions and show that quite often clear codes are an unnecessary step. Definitely. But I'd definitely rather use enamels if I was going to clear coat, which is why I used a Tamiya enamels. And it's the only time I use a Tamiya lamel, nam, lamels. The hell's a lamel? Yeah. Tamiya panel line enamels is on car body shut lines or to weather over parts. And I can even put that over other enamel and take it back off and it doesn't affect it at all. Um, it dries a lot quicker. Malibu bounces there saying hi. Just a quick pop in and say hello. 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 Chris Lewis says evening modelers. Hello. Um, 109 videos. Yes, there's a full series of 109 videos as well, Andy. There were never any others. <laughs> were, were, weren't there one on, on a crowd? You can find that on the channel, mate. It's there. <laughs> if you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> they are all still there they just set to private and I'd leave them up but all I ever get is are you going to carry on with this because <laughs> I get it over the RC213 yeah like you know are you going to like, watch my bench updates it's why <laughs> I make these videos if you follow me you'll keep progress and I, I mean video, well for those that watch my bench updates I must have mentioned it every single one for the past month and it'll be mentioned on maybe tomorrow no, uh, whenever I do it Ah, it's Ant. Malibu bounces Ant. Hello, mate. Yes, it is, yeah. You okay? You keeping well, buddy? Hope so. What are you up to, Ant? What time are you on till? That's what that sounded like there. Yeah. yeah. Been busy. Been busy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these will do nicely. Lane is there saying evening chaps. Oh. Uh, Daryl says, yeah, and you watch them and still cry at your own results. Nah, model for yourself, not anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, don't be a sheeple, people. I'm going to say this now. I don't like to bring it up. Don't be a sheeple. Don't listen to other people because there's a lot of crap circulates about me and us. And most of it's untrue. And for that reason, ISN gets ignored quite a lot by this uh, so-called YouTube community that apparently there is. What? There's an actual community for YouTube? Yeah. Uh, Chris Lewis is there saying, Ayawata or Harder and Steinbeck? Uh, depends what you're doing, Chris. I don't play the piano, so I couldn't inform you about that. Mm. Depends what you're doing, Chris, what you want it for. And how much, what your budget is as well. I would have said Apex all day long. Well, I was going to get to that. It depends what you want it for. Uh, Malibu, sorry, Ant says, hey, good, thanks. Work on one's butt off. Oh, nice. Excellent, mate. That's good. You're working well. Oh, there's cool. a new shrimp. Let's get a picture. Hang on. We'll call oh, him Jeff. On you go. This is Jeff the shrimp. Hang on. Jeff. I'm going, to do a poor, I'm going to do a portfolio and give each shrimp headshots. Oh, good lad. <laughs> <laughs> the song's Jeff, all different angles. You're meeting. I'm glad, I'm glad you it, what, that what, what, one in a sailor suit, foot on a rock, <laughs> foot, foot on a rock with a scarf on, looking into the distance. <laughs> oh dear. Don't forget the hat of the jaunty angle. <laughs> so now, now the chat's getting funny now. Here we go. What about the McLaren? <laughs> I think Kev's in there. What about the pickup? <laughs> oh. oh. McLaren, I get to. I'll get to McLaren one day. Oh well. You see, the problem is that we're always going to be a slow burner, though. I can't win wherever I do because if I work on the McLaren, it's not a video build. So there'll be no videos, and I get asked when's the next video build. The video uh, builds take so much time to do, and right now I've got two on the go at the same time. Ooh, greedy! And that's what it's stopping me modeling tonight. Now 
I can't do anything because I need to film it, and it's awkward to do both. So cool. the McLaren I get to the pickup can bugger off, Kev. <laughs> I'm not bothered about that. All I'll say. No, I'm not going to say that actually. No, makes you sound bigger. No, we'll leave that. I'm just going to tell them all to get on my level. Skinny modeling. No, not skinny. Stuck up. Daryl, okay. you're stuck up. Stuck up modeling. Definitely stuck up. Yeah. Tuesday. I've got to say, of all the people, I, I am not stuck up. I, I don't no, think I am. No. Arrogant, maybe. Thanks, Al. I'm just <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. But um, definitely not stuck up. I, I kind of heard that one. Not gonna lie. Oh. Surprised you knocked me out of Telford. Didn't normally do. <laughs> yes, and yes, I've gone back to arm a little bit, buddy. Yeah, I've built about. Well, I've even built now. Did Charlie oh, turn around? It's easier, isn't it? Four. I built four in the last couple of months, or however long it's been. Enjoy it again. Uh, Paul, have you already tested Gravity Kills McLaren Chrome? How was your experience? Yes, it went down really well, mate, but I put it on too heavy. I've got the spoon over it. I was going to chrome the um, uh, NSX wheels, but I hadn't used this product before. I went way too heavy on it. Let me pin my video. Has that gone big on the screen? For you lot. No, at the moment. No. no, okay. I can't can't get the angle. This crap. <laughs> it's doing me. I did. Mm. So it must be pin video. Is it? Is that it now? Uh no, no. Nope. Oh, for Christ's sake. So it must be spotlight. Is it that one? Yep. Right. Okay. So I put it on. But I've gone too heavy with it, and it's eaten into the enamel. But on first impressions, you see that? That's Ooh. all right. That's a damn good chrome. Yeah. So I plan to do the wheels, but I think if I did down on wheels, it'd look a bit too much. So I changed my mind and went for gloss black instead. Hmm. So they give you a gloss black enamel base and then the chrome. So you just need to put on a thin coat. And I just went a bit heavy. The craze did it make you see the crazing on there? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But look look through the craze and look at the actual reflection. Uh-huh. It's a very good chrome, isn't it? It's nice. Let's see what it's like with the light on. Oh, I'm blind. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a good chrome. So I will respray one and try it again properly, but that is nice. And I've got a sealer there as well. Um so I think that's a good product. That it just needs to really, um, really be sprayed on all off. Then I went too heavy with it. I was rushing, but yeah, it's a decent chrome. Let me see if I can bring it up closer for you. Well, that's why you need the, uh, the spoons. Yeah, but you can see the like you see the reflection of my paint rack in the background. So it's a yeah, decent yeah, chrome. Yeah. It's probably one of the best ones I've sprayed. But I just went way too heavy. And I'll be honest, I probably didn't let the enamel dry long enough either. Uh, Paul, do you see an aircraft ever in the far horizon? Only when it looks out the window, it's landing. Only if he uses binoculars. You, you mean like the P-38, mate, that I started? I've got P-38 under the bench, Daryl, it did start, mate. But it's going got... to on that shelf that makes him pull a funny face. I have to plan my builds, otherwise it's a pain in the backside. I just shut my door. Great, because it's raining. Superb. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, by the way. Honestly. Wise words, Kev. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I control back. It's fine. Um, yes, there, there is an aircraft down there. We will get to it at some point. But like I said, I plan my builds. I always do. I have to. Phil Beresford's there. Hello, Phil. Right, we're back on full screen. Not as yet. Let's just see, make sure it goes back. 
Actually, it looks as though you've frozen. Oh, no, you moved. You're okay. <gasps> Hi! There we go, we're on full screen again. Uh, Luxury says, yeah, it's my experience too. In the first I've sprayed too much crow after I read the instructions. So I use a high pressure and very low. Oh, there's instruction. <laughs> okay. Oh. And very little crow and paint. Yeah, yeah. There's all, it's, yeah, it's decent, isn't it, Ludwig? Yeah, I think that's very promising. Um, so I'll do another spoon one day. Uh, but I did the wheels for six in the gloss black that came with those. And that came out really well. So I might, I might actually keep those rims gloss black. Quite like them like that. Still stinks and now they were sprayed like five days ago and they still absolutely stink. So yeah, I think we'll go with gloss black wheels on the uh Honda. Nice. If, if not, we'll pick another metallic paint and put it over it. Yeah, Robbie says all back. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, what should we do next? Where is Tim gone? Is he with us? I don't know if we've got watching. 123. 66 up, three down. Oh, three down. That's brilliant. I do like that. <laughs> getting better. We're getting better. Thanks for everyone's interaction. We appreciate everyone's yeah. contribution. If you give us a thumbs down and you're watching, feel free to tell us why you did. Now, that I'd like to see. Someone who's actually honest enough to do it. Yeah. Or uh, has the minerals to do it. Because they never do. No, never will. Just give an anonymous thumbs down. Hide them behind the curtains. Yeah, Phil's right. Nobody likes a smelly rim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nigel P66 is this. And evening, folks. Decal hell for me. Hate it. Hope all is well with you. Like, oh, I love decal when it goes right. Yeah, you, you listen to my advice on the paint pots, Phil. Always give your rim a good wipe. Nobody likes a crusty rim. Uh, yeah, I had to paint the other night. <laughs> Honest. Be careful what lacquer thing you use, it can sting. Too much waffle, Gary says. Ah. I'd get Gary on. He cannot read the chapel. <laughs> Funny no. Yeah. You think it was the Pringles, Dan? Dan says I think it's the Pringles. Oh, dear. Not enough beans. <laughs> I'll sort that next week in the shopping, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is bean can number one. Um, this is the carrier bag. This is the delivery driver. <laughs> These are the credit card details. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, okay. Anton, they have an awful joke saying so any thumbs down because he thinks he's a Roman emperor. He's <laughs> got... Five R's and several E's in there, Emperor. I do miss Ant. I really do. I, yeah, I, I miss Ant. Yeah, I do miss him. It's a shame. It is a shame. I wish he'd join a hangout. Just to hang out. Not to hang out, because he's done that before in a photo on the forum and it's still there. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, right, what should we do? Should we give away? Should we well, say we that need Tim to do the numbers for the numbers when the numbers? Oh, come yeah, we'll numbers. save that for the end then. Yeah, we'll save that. Uh, Al, do you want to do questions? Can do if I can find them. Well, it's it's, it's questions from Daryl, basically. Oh, oh, oh we're right, going to rename right. it now. It's not questions for the crew, it's just questions from Daryl. Okay. Does like the latest airbrush cleaner work of UMP uh, primers? Uh, not very well, mate. Not very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Uh, you won't have much luck getting it out, mate. It, it's crap, those airbrush cleaner. <laughs> he says he's told the photo story on the podcast. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Like anybody, questions then. I want to say if anybody's bored and they want something to listen to, go and listen to Ant's podcast. It's called The Walrus Line. It's very, yes, it's very comical, let's say. <laughs> but you've got to be bored to watch it, is that what you're saying? No, because you listen to it. <laughs> you can watch it. You can watch the counter go up on your phone. Well, I suppose. 
No, it is. It, it is. It, it does make me chuckle. Yes. <laughs> right. So we're gonna hand it over to Al, who's gonna do questions from Daryl. Okay. Um, I think there's a few others in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can get um, there. Um, away you go. Okay. Um, the first question is from Daryl. <laughs> in case you didn't know, ah. um, saying hello, Sprue Crew. Um, his question for this week is about weathering tracks. He's done the painting, the panel line, the rust wash, the dry brushing with the tracks off. Should any pigment be applied before putting the tracks on or after, seeing as a third of the tracks are on the ground anyway? He's almost thinking after he's put them on. What are your thoughts? Yeah, put them on after, mate. After you. Pa paint the tracks up in their base colour, whatever you're going to do, like a dark iron colour or whatever you're going to do. Put them on and weather them in situ. Best thing to do. Or my, I put I paint it all in its own separate colours, assemble it, and weather it as one job lot. More consistent weathering. Anybody else? And that, no, no, no. I think I've covered it quite well. Um, second question is from Darren. No, it'll be Daryl. UMP question on the modular storage system. Which of them are the best for storing UMP sanders, thinny sticks, etc.? I've got the, oh God, half, large, with the four squares. can't remember the number now. It's the tall one, not a full length one, with four pieces in. It's there. It's right there. Yeah. So you've got four sections in the middle square. That's the one I use for my sanders. They all fit in there perfectly. Really, really well. Yeah, I have to use a massive one. Yeah. <laughs> what about for your sanders? <laughs> oh, that's just a small one, isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it, just, uh, it just depends what you want. I've got mine in uh, the four-section one. Long, tall. And I've got Sanders, the sponges, and the buffers. I do try and segregate them, the word, mm -hmm. but yeah. it, don't, it don't work. I just end up cramming them all back in the same hole again, it were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. That's right, okay. Mm. Next question is from Simon Reed. He says, good evening, purveyors of wisdom. Again, the wrong channel. <laughs> What's the best way to make an aircraft look sun bleached? Oh, we could, we could be here all night. Uh, leave it in the sun. No, yeah. um, that transparent Windsor Newton oil, big old way to go. Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty good actually. I give it away. Yeah. Fade away if you paint work first with your airbrush. Give it some faded panels and low lights and highlights and blah blah blah, and then hit it with the uh, transparent oil with what I do. Yeah, it's, you uh, could it's, do the old fashioned way, which was dry brushing with a very light a color, the same shit color, yeah, with yeah. lots of white in it, and just very lightly dry brush over the pattern. Yeah, yeah. that'll help out as well. That'll fade it. <laughs> oh. What was funny, Dad? I'm just, I'm just talking to uh, 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 Mr. Coolum, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and I can't repeat what he's saying because there's. <laughs> A few swear words in there. Oh, I see. Okay, is that everybody for that one then? Because I have no suggestions because I haven't done it yet. But I will do soon. I think I shall do a... Possibly a Greek phantom. There you go. Hmm. Right. Uh, Donald's in again with a 3D printing question. <laughs> How long does it take, uh, I assume, Lee to print one full set of the modular storage system parts? I've got no idea, buddy. Has um, Lee got about 12 of them on the go? I think, uh, there's, there's about 10, I think, but there's 32 individual pieces to the uh, modular system, so they all take different times. I know some of them can take 17 hours to print. Yeah, that's the downside with 3D printing. It's not quick. Mm. Whether it's FDM or resin, it's just not quick. So, yeah, 
few hours to half a day, easy. Yeah. If not, if not more. Wow, that's uh, that's quite a lot. Times thirty four, I suppose. It wouldn't be half a day for for each one, but uh, no. You know, you're, you're talking eight to ten days to do a whole set then. Yeah, long time. They're going twenty four seven. Those things. Hmm. And uh, could you do more than one on on a no print a print no. just the one? No, one at a time. Okay. Here are guys. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Daryl's asking, any thoughts on custom UMP cutting mats? We looked into RSM ones years ago. They cost way too much to get made. Sadly, yeah. Yeah, yeah we looked into it years ago. They were a fortune to get done. You'd probably pay like 50 odd quid for one. It was ridiculous. Sadly, not. Uh, Daryl then goes on to ask Will anyone be interested in the poacher one quarter scale Ducati die cast and plastic model? Ooh. And if Paul, someone buys me, Paul, uh, question mark. Yeah, too much money. Paul yeah. needs a sugar daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or is that a sugar dummy? Sugar dummy. Spit to that one. <laughs> <then. laughs> Did you wow. read that coming down? <laughs> one quarter scale. Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> it's a big one. It is a big one. Oh, dear. Do we have a price for these or not? They're about 600 quid, I think. Four, oh, four 600 go. quid. Yeah, quid. No, 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 no. You have to buy a small car for what you could buy that for. And I'm not joking. Right. Where's Timbo gone? I don't know. No, no idea. Um, Jeff Light says, it. "Jeff Light says, good evening, guys. He's got two right. questions this evening. Cool. One, the first one is regarding the preparation of metal gun barrels for priming. Is it advisable to rub them down with something like micro mesh to give the primer a key, or just a thorough degreasing? Is it is is just a, a thorough degreasing on, ma on a metal barrel? Yep." Uh, scuff it up with a very fine sanding paper yeah. or a pad right. or whatever or sander and then give it a wipe over. Give it a dust with a toothbrush and then give it a wipe over with UMP airbrush cleaner. You'd be just fine. I've sprayed on them with acne prep and the spray's just fine. If you, if you catch it, regardless, it'll scratch off anyway. Uh, mm. I've not done a metal panel. It's got spike, but I pay it, and there you go. Oh, the, 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 is that that green stuff? No. Yeah, yeah, you can get them in different. Uh, oh, there's, stuff, there's, there's much better stuff there. That stuff. Huh, mm. the stuff. Stand by. No, no, you've got better than that. This stuff. Stand it, by. It'll be announced yeah. later today, yes. Yes. Cool. Um, Okay, so his second question is probably very basic, he, he says, but in regards to colour tones, does all the Tamiya colour range, range transfer across between their different range types? No. Is the semi-gloss black of their LP range the same as the semi, same no. tone as the semi-gloss black of their no. X range? The X18, the TS5, sorry, LP5 and TS18, all different shades, all different colours. They get better as they go from XF or X, wherever it is, to TS is better than the X, and the LP is better than the TS. Yep. So the colours don't transfer across. They're all different colours. And if you need to ask about grey, contact Al McNish. Yeah. <laughs> On I've, been, I've been using them for ages, and they do not transfer across. Yeah. A lot of people say that they do, but they don't. Al does like his Fifty Shades of Grey, though. He's the master of it. There's only 18, and that one's green. I don't care what you say. <laughs> it is green, Al. It is green. Yeah, go. Look, look, have a look at that. Yeah. Tell me what colour that is. Eh? Go on, go on. Uh, weirdly, though, my car is supposed to look... It's, it's described as vapour grey, but I swear down it's purple. I swear it was green. I thought it was black. Baby, what then? 
Vapor, <laughs> uh, vapor grey, they're calling it, but no, I can't see the grey part in it, if I'm honest. That's a beautiful machine, man. Oh, I love it. Oh, Bert, Teddy, you work your backside off all week, so you might as well oh, enjoy your money while you've got a partner. Any other yeah. questions, Al? Is that my no, lead? that's it. My Honda is uh, is is, is grey. It's like a metallic grey, but in actual fact, it, it, the true colour is silver. Hmm. Yeah. Just, yeah. On the uh, yeah, on the spec, it's silver. So anyway. Now, don't be doing those movements again with the elastic, please. It, it just didn't look right. I'm sorry. This flies annoying me. Anyway, that's all the questions from Daniel this week. <laughs> with, uh, <clears throat> with a couple of guest appearances by, by Simon and Jeff there. So nice. uh, next week, we'll get uh, Daryl's questions. Daryl, Daryl back on the case. So, <laughs> And there we go. Well done. Nice one, Al. Nice one, Al. Uh, do you want to read that chat? I don't think there's much in there, but. Yeah. Al the Grey McNeish. Al the Grey. Good for the oh, 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 What is that? Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Mine's frozen. Refresh. Right. So I'll be back in a second, chaps. Oh, right, am I reading this? Let's have a look. Uh... Sporks, indeed. Uh, Auntie says he needs to get some more powerful UMP cleaner, mate. All you need. What UMP party? cleaner. Uh, Dan's got to go due to calls. So hopefully, you'll drop in later. See you, mate. Large and half large. Yeah, I think it's half large. I can't remember the number though, buddy. It's too many of them to remember. Sam's goes keg out, indeed. Mm -hmm. Daniel Blair says, What is cares? Is that porn? Yes. Yeah. If, if that's your fancy. Uh, then. Only for the, uh, only for the eagle eyed. Uh, yeah, expensive indeed. I wish I had the jazz colours, bus past grey. <laughs> or more grey. Oh. There we go. We'll cut up. There we are. Tim's got family around. That's why he's uh, AWOL at the moment. Okay. He's ushering them out of the door, I suspect. Well, you click on people's stories on Facebook by accident, you can't get off it. <laughs> See, Sarah's left handed, and uh, you know, when she's scrolling through Facebook, she likes a bunch of stuff that she doesn't realize that she's liking, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she's getting loads of friends' requests from weirdos. And not models, and... are they? Well, 
No. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to call them weirdos, if I'm honest. And people that she don't really like. You know when you just having a nosy through Facebook and then all of a sudden you've liked someone but not realised it and then they've commented that you've liked on it and then you feel obliged to say something that, you know, you've not spoken to him for 12 years and it's quite funny. Yeah, big brother. <laughs> or, or if you feel quite inclined to do so, you could go on your missus's Facebook and just like everything that she hates and then it just floods uh -huh. up Facebook with loads of crap and big tatty. But it's the <laughs> works every day. I've done it. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Hang on. What, what are we looking at here? So Jeff just to say, I see a humble logo on that mat. Where? What mat? What mat? Where are we looking? Who now? Oh, on Norman's. Oh, surprised oh, it hasn't oh, fell off. Oh man! I'm surprised the paint hasn't fell off. A what? You got a humble logo on your mat, look at the little one. Oh. He's eagle eyed, isn't he? Yeah. No, you need wow. to be like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh right, David says uh he's got a question. And he's answered it with his first sentence. Struggle with a cheap airbrush. Yeah. What's the airbrush and thoughts on Apex versus iWater Eclipse versus HNS Evolution 2.1? With well, your experience, don't need to name an outright runner. Right, I've owned all of those. Um, I will give my answer. I'll let these guys answer that. Well, I, I technically have owned them all. And at the side of me, I just have uh, an Apex and another Apex. And the iWater and the HS are in a cupboard down there, possibly gathering dust. And Apex is for the win because you can have a, a needle and nozzle set for uh, big and small, who are, and they do everything. Once you've practiced and got a bit of control, they're perfect for everything. Yep. I've owned our water, HNSs, ER pluses, all that crap. And I've got four <laughs> Apexes, and that's all I use. Yep. I've got an HNS Infinity, and I will be getting an Apex instead because the HNS Infinity is very pain particular. Mm. Doesn't like acrylics at all, it just blocks up some acrylic. You like slackers, doesn't it? Really like as an ink to the I, just say, I think them HS are aimed at you know, like proper artists that use inks yeah. and, and stuff inks like and that. that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, given the choice, I'll go in the apex every day of the week. That's <clears throat> yeah. what these guys do with it and how they it's easy just to clean and the needle doesn't bend just looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for it. Yeah, yeah, I've been for my evolution. Uh, I, I looked at it when I first got it and I had to order a new needle. <laughs> and then I used it twice and I had to order a new, another new needle and I've broken one nozzle in it. So, yeah. Plus the glory of the Apex as well. If you want to have a little store of parts, may it yes. be O-rings, needles, nozzles, their replacements are really cheap. Yeah. You yeah. know, like a, a tenner for a new needle, a <clears throat> nozzle. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'll answer now. I'll answer now. Uh, because it's obviously UMP is my company, it's very biased for me to say. But as you'll know, a lot of the stuff we sell is because I use it, not because I don't use it because we sell it. That's not the way it works with UMP. And Sam will tell you, when we first got the Apex, I was a bit dubious because I was using hard and I was back then. And I was very dubious and we got sent them and I was gobsmacked at how good it was. So I've owned, uh, I've owned all the hard and steam backs. So Grapho, 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 is it? Grapho, whatever it's called, the built-in colour cup. Yeah. Evolutions, uh, Ultras, Infinities. I've owned probably about eight Harder and Steambacks over the years. I've owned nearly all the iWatters that I can think of. I've had an Eclipse, HPCS, the Revolution, uh, the Custom Micron, um, the little the single, single action, action, the single yep. action one, which <clears throat> escapes me now. And I'd rather have an evil an iWater over a harder and steam back because the iWater uh, sorry the hard steam back needle nozzles are very very weak really yeah. weak points on the airbrush yep. it damage easy and I think it costs you about 30 quid now for a set or 25 quid. is it really Jesus yeah, it is. yeah and God knows how many of them I went through over the years um, <laughs> that is the major downside to the harders they're very very delicate they're unbelievably pain fussy and I'm convinced it's down to that needle nozzle setup that they've got 
uh, any acrylics that, especially water-based, it will block in a heartbeat. And if you've only got the one airbrush and you're using different mediums of paint, you'll have an absolute nightmare with the clogging up. And that's from my own experience. That's not me trying to sell an airbrush. That is my own experience with it. The eyewaters are better. The eyewaters are easier to clean. They've got a much better nasal nozzle strength. Mm -hmm. They're a lot better on the paints. Yeah. The problem with the eyewaters is that little tiny needle nozzle is as fiddly as hell. Yes. If you drop it, you've got a good chance of losing it. They're easy to over tighten if you're not very gentle and snap off, and that can ruin your airbrush full stop. Yep. Um, I, I'm not as big a fan of the Eclipse. I've had it. And the Eclipse is a completely different airbrush to all the others because it's got a floating needle nozzle in it. Whereas all the other eyewaters that I know of have that small uh, needle nozzle in it. Um, I've had an Eclipse. I don't highly rate it personally. Um, the cheapest eyewater I would get if I was going to get one is the HPC Plus? That's the one in it, Tim. You got the B. Me and you had the I've, B and C, didn't we? I've got. I've, that's I had, that's I, the B, I, isn't it? I, I sold my C because I, I used I, I, the Apex. Pretty much replaced it. It's, it yeah. That Apex is as good, I think, as as the C. I've yeah. still got my B because I do like it. Yeah, that's a precision airbrush, though, isn't it? Yeah, point I still two. Like it. it's nice, it's small nice color color. cover. That's, that's why I ask anyone who asks about these airbrushes what they're going to use it for, because if you're after something to do, you know pencil thin lines because you're a, an artist and yeah you need you need a custom micron we are, we are artists well, well we're art yeah awesome <laughs> um but yeah if it was going between hard and steam back and i water i go i water all day long but you'll have to pay i think it's 170 quid now for hbc plus yeah. and that that would be the lowest level i water oh, that i would be happy getting because I don't like the revolution and I don't like the eclipse. And that's from my own personal experience of using them. And I have used them a lot. Like I say, when we got the Apex, I was a little bit dubious thinking this is going to be that. Greg, so it's a 90 pound airbrush, isn't it? It's really heavy. Um, yeah, 100, it's 170 for a C plus. Yeah, it's, plus. Got, I want to add up massively. Yeah, that's a big job. Um, we, we got the Apexes in. I sold every single one of my hardest steam backs, all my I waters. And I now own five Apexes, and I build everything, have built anything from aircraft, armor, cars, and that includes primer, lacquer paints, clear coats, 2K, camo, um, everything, Any, our washes, everything through them all. Um, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, be honest, I've got a small nozzle set up. <laughs> <laughs> we had our suspicions. <laughs> uh, hey. I don't know why I start talking so anyway um, yeah I've got a small setup and I haven't used it in the Apex yet right? <laughs> I'll be, can I be I'll be totally honest there's a reason I haven't used it in that because I'm worried that I'll use it in that and I think it's easier to use than my Iwasa and I really like my Iwasa and I don't yeah. want to feel like I, I let it down by going you're not very useful anymore and selling it which well, look at look at that camo I did in that leopard, and how yeah. easy I did that yeah. with the point two. Exactly, you exactly. you would tell that. I it's know, fun. I exactly. I'm like, oh, I really like, I like my little eyewater, but I know if I change one of them to a a, a small nozzle, I will quite brain up sense. So my advice would be, if you want to get a higher end, because the the apex isn't a high end airbrush, it's it, mid range. It's still just if you really want to get a high end, this is me being honest. We don't sell them, so this makes no difference to me. Look at an iWatt HPC Plus. Now, will that make you a better modeler? No. Will it make your paint look better? No. Will you have a nice looking airbrush? Yes. <laughs> will the Apex do the same job? Yes. Now, what I'd rather do is get two Apexes for a little bit more money yep. and keep your lacquers and your acrylics away from each other. Yeah. yeah. And that way you'll have a lot less problems and a lot less frustrations. Now, we've hit a bit of a problem here. Because my mouse battery's just died. Uh oh. So oh. I can't control anything on the hangout now. So I'm going to have five minutes it to give this time. a quick boost. Hey? Why don't you plug it in and use it at the same time? What, like that? I don't know. I mean, Man's got the wire no. underneath. Yeah. Oh, it goes Pod underneath. Oh, that's a, just ridiculous. Yeah. That's a, that's a poor design, that yeah, interview. Yeah, oh, Absolutely. Oh, it's it's to make it low profile. That's why they did it. Paul, yeah. what I'll do is I'll send you my plug-in, my battery one for you, okay? 
We'll just send positive thoughts. That'll charge you. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's on char- a couple of minutes charge. You'll get it through about if a week. I, if I send some dirty thoughts, do you think it'll charge better? Uh, it'll probably dead drain it. I don't know. The buttons uh, just uh, got hard. <laughs> <laughs> on that last question, though, um, I, I, from a beginner's point of view, um, I was I was recommended the, the Evo 2 in 1. Which which I went out and I bought and I struggled with that. I thought the point four needle would do for um, uh, priming and whatever, and the point two needle would do for everything else. I started off with the Tamiya XPs and then kind of moved on to the MRPs and it, I just couldn't get to grips with the Evo at all. And it was all, I think, down to um, thinning ratios and the fact that the Evo just, as Paul says, didn't like the uh, uh, the the acrylics, basically. When <laughs> it, it took me quite a while, and you know, fighting against all the advice that came from. The owner of you, or one of the owners of UMP, and the rest of the crew, etc. I, I, I took a wee while to order my Apex, but when I ordered it, I swear to God, it taught me how to airbrush properly, and I could use anything in it, absolutely anything, through from, you know, a priming through. But it is, it is better to keep all the different types of paint, the LPs and the acrylics and that technically separate if you're not a car modeler you need three you need primer yep acrylic and lacquer yeah water-based and lacquer now if you're using just ump primer you can just get away with two then i was say yeah you yeah that i think ump and primer is you pretty you can mix you can mix yes. that in with their primer, now the way i've worked it is i've got 2k because you need to keep that away from everything You've got yeah. 10. No, I've got five. Well, technically, I've got six, but shush. <laughs> um, so I've got one for UMP primers, and that is all that gets used for because I don't use water based paints to spray anymore. I'm all lacquer. I have a 3 5 setup for lacquer, which I use for spraying large bits, um, car bodies, things like that. I've got another one for lacquer with a point two in. I've got a 0.2 for metallics, because I think you get a better metallic finish with a smaller nozzle, personally. Uh, I've got a 0.35 for 2K. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. I think I did. Um, and I've got one for the UMP washers, kept separate, too. And that's where I use it. Now, I could get rid of one of those and just have one for the lacquers, but I like having the smaller nozzle when I'm doing camo work and things like that. So I, I don't want to be taking the airbrush apart and putting new nozzles in. I'd rather have it all set up. So I, I've got... Um, yeah, I've got six of them, but only five. Do you, have, do you have to label them so you remember which yeah, ones? Yes, they're all labelled on the handle. Okay, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, if you start putting lacquer in with some water-based paints, oh, it's a nightmare. Don't like each other. I got to see the other day, didn't even see that post on Facebook about the guy who put um, Tamiya lacquer thinner in with Tamiya XF paints and said it all gummed up his airbrush. No. And I was like, how does that work? French. Must have been a problem elsewhere. It's got to have been. It, it's been someone else in there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so there's loads of questions there. Dave says, great honest feedback on the airbrush. Thanks, everyone. Pick up the Apex next week. At least at the Ultimate Sand, the starter packs are back in stock. Should, uh, yeah, we're still waiting on 240 thinnies, aren't we? Yeah, you, you won't regret it, mate, at all. You will not regret it. Um, I have every one of those airbrushes is hand set up by me these guys have seen me do it before and i've lost count now we must be on nearly 800 i've done now um we've had less than 10 ever come back that i can even remember of and half of them well probably more than that probably 80 percent of them have gone back out with no fault they've just been dirty or whatever um so it's very reliable and as sam said we normally have all the parts in stock they're cheap Mm -hmm. really cheap um, oh, yeah, it's not good. He says, doing more 3D prints, and he's stuck in to get even pushing zero paint primer through the cheap airbrush. It's very powdery, 0.4 nozzle, 20 psi. Yeah, that's not good. 
Oh, there you go. There you go. Ant's asking you, did you ever finish your uh, wooden ship, Tim? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was so close to me touching it the other day. Hey. <laughs> no. I'll be totally honest. No, it's not. <laughs> Ants are coming to bought an apple. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovely. Which ants? Uh, Which ants at? Eh? Where are you? Which what? Which ants? Ah, uh, and cool them. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh you weren't oh, here, oh, were you? Ants no. in the chat, Malibu, Malibu Bounce. Hello, Malibu Bounce. Uh, let's have like, a look at some questions. Like, Who's there saying hello? Hello, mate. That's a chap who uh, helped me with my aerial. Ah, oh, you yeah. helped. He helped, he helped out with your erection. Yeah, yeah. He the one out? Out. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Is he the one that put it up? He, he, yeah, up and down and up and down, actually. Speaking of, anyway. Oh, wow. Speaking of the, uh, the name Hugh, you know I've got that name on Facebook. Uh, you, uh, yeah. My Xbox, my Xbox account is Warwick Hunt. Yep. Yeah. I've seen somebody today called Mr. Sister. Sister? Can't, I can't say the full word, but <laughs> it's into an F, which was hilarious. And then someone called Hugh G. Rection. So, yeah, thank you, Hugh, for uh, helping out with his, with his erection. So he's not going yeah, yeah. for a while. You can see um, by the smile on his face, he's happy. Yeah, his wife's made up. Um, <laughs> Trevor's there, so he's got some zero paint dark green and eats the plastic. What have I done wrong? I'm painting an airbrush. And you put it on too heavy, mate. That's it. It's very, very hot paint. There's no fault of it, but there is. Um, you've got to put it on ultra, ultra thin, like ultra thin. Build it up like ten coats. Takes forever. Um, I try and avoid zero as much as I can now. Sadly, Robbie says uh, myself. I'm done paying. Need one. Get great results. Can't just if I get one. I've looked at them though. Huh? What are we looking at? I missed that, Robbie. I don't know what you're on about, mate. Uh, PC Pilot has just jumped in and we're talking about having three airbrushes. Uh, five, mate. Well, six, technically. Six. Oh, many you need. I've got three. Uh, I've, I've, got yeah. that, I've got that large needle for the, the apex, which is just a bit too big. Point five. I've got one. I don't use it. No, it's, it's good. I mean, if you got to spray a large area, and I mean a oh, large yeah. area, yeah. perfect. But anything, when, you spray, when you spray that crane... It's going to be perfect. Oh, see, Paul, I'm glad you understand what I thought. <laughs> see what I mean? It'd be perfect for that. Uh, um, right, yeah, Paul, you say... Oh, yes, the crane, yes. Yeah, crane, sorry, yeah. Crane, uh, yeah. Paul, you say set up every apex and chance for a vid show and that entails. Yeah, I'll stick it in the next bench update. Give me some padding out, save me waffling on for ages. Matt says, how close is the apex to the point two needle comes to the SOTAR 2020? No, nowhere close. Nowhere close. That that SOTAR does unbelievably fine paintwork, doesn't it? Sure. I think most yeah. of us have one in here. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievably fine paintwork. Completely different animal. But the two point two will get nice fine lines. It will get fine lines. But that that SOTAR is ultra fine. It really is. <laughs> Wooden Cheston. I've no idea. Wooden Shepston. Shep, 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 he, he might mean Shemston, but anyway. Okay, erection guys. Hey. Wooden ships and. Uh, so I'm saying don't bother with the ship. No, Tim just gave up, but Tim gives up on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who it's won the weekly me. draw thing? Hang on. It's going to grab me crystal ball. I think, yeah. <laughs> we don't know yet, Trev. We haven't done it yet, mate. Sorry, the airbrush too bad. Oh, you haven't got an airbrush, Rob. Okay. It'll change your modeling, mate. It really will. It's one of the biggest and best steps forward you can do in modeling, going to an airbrush. It, it really is. It's not as hard as everybody thinks. It's really simple. But yes, Daryl, I'll, I'll do a video on the airbrushes. That is complete out of general hobby modeler's price range. Many of us have done a model with one airbrush for years. Fantastic. Round of applause. Uh, well done. If you can cope with one, Brilliant. I, I'm in this as I am with everything I do to get the best out of it I can. And that involves spending money. What do I always say, fellas? You got to have a hobby, what you put into it. What you put yeah. into it. This is my, my own real hobby. And 
That's it. But people so, forget that sometimes, Paul. Yeah, if you've got what if you've got one airbrush and you're happy with it, absolutely fantastic. See what I found as well. If you're a heuristic painter, how many paintbrushes you got? Do you know what I mean? It's it's same. If you want, you know, let's let's for instance say you want to paint a model, but you've only got that. It's gonna look shite. Let's face it. But then if you've got some Winsor and Newtons, you know, Series Sevens, and you know, <coughs> exactly the same with airbrushes. It's it's yeah. You all do a different job. Yep. The old needle sizes are, are, are massively different. I've got two sizes in my apexes, and I can do anything pretty much that I want to with them. And yeah, I've, I've done some crazy stuff. I've done some big stuff. I've done small stuff, and mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, right, Sky Shark says hello from North Carolina. Hello, Trevor says hello. thanks. Didn't think so. Yeah, we're not got to it yet, mate. We will do it a bit. Uh, are you behind with the chat now? Airbrush and Fisuks, any tips? Huh? Uh, look, 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 look. There's a 20 second delay. What's you that? will know what this is. Deck chair. Okay, anyway, I bought, it it, I bought it this week, so okay. it's a, a fishing permit for a local river. Oh, you're going fishing? Oh, I'm going fishing. Oh, nice for now. Well done. We just have to want it, want uh, rod, or we buy several. Um, actually, um, the, I think rule number one is uh, you've got uh, it's one rod only, and um, you've got to hold it. Excellent. <laughs> well, you used to be in the bushes holding your rod, so you just... <laughs> well, it... with your magnet <laughs> hanging out the end. Yeah. Fishing <laughs> shall be by <laughs> one rod only, which Excellent. should be attended at all times. Excellent. So right. there you go, attend your rods, peeps. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, HS has to change the profile of the V2 needles. Yes, apparently they have. Uh, Rudiger says, after struggling with HS Infinity airbrushes, he now has four apexes and he loves them. I think you'll find, to be honest, most bottlers these days have several airbrushes. Yes. Most of them. And I will stand by where I say all the time, no matter what your hobby is, whether it's golf, fishing, shooting, whatever, you'll get out of that hobby what you put into it. If you're happy with one fishing rod, one golf club, which would be quite difficult to play the game, to be fair. Um, crack on. That's brilliant, but you'll get more out of it. Um, I put more into it. That's my opinion. I've always said that about every yeah. hobby I've had. Every hobby I've had. Um, so that's it. It's personal opinion. I've just but invested as, a lot. As Gandhi yeah. says, look at the average stash and you'll see more than one airbrush is possible. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've just invested in my... Uh... One of my other hobbies, which is listening to the aircraft. Yeah. And uh, I went from a handheld scanner with its own aerial to a little mag mount up in the, the loft. And uh, and now I've got a base station with this disco on, on the aerial on, on on the garage, the end of the garage there. And uh, the stuff I'm getting now is just phenomenal. So it's, yeah, right tool for the right job. Yeah. yeah. It's like me going to work with just like a stick. Do you know what I mean? You're only yeah. allowed a stick. I mean, I'm, on my tool belt, I've probably got one, two, three, four. I've probably got five spanners and an impact wrench, uh, two levels of varying descriptions and two tape measures. And they all get used for different things. See, years ago, it was literally a spirit level and a spanner. Yeah. But got into way difficult see if i was still using a spanner i'm retiring i will never just go back to a spanner ever because <laughs> impact guns probably wipe four hours off my day just by doing that and just yeah how's it go uh he says impact, driver. he says uh try golf with one ball well unless you're self-conscious you shouldn't have any problem <laughs> oh, there you go <laughs> <laughs> This, this, could, this could go bad. Yeah. One of the lads at work, he's going to play golf at the weekend. I've told him to take a spade and a rake. <laughs> yeah. He's he's not hit, he's never been golfing before. He's not hitting that ball. He's going to be no. digging. <laughs> oh, hang on. PC Baz says, that's okay if you can afford it. It oh, isn't golf. cheap. Don't think you're promoting modeling as it should be. Cheers, anyway. Uh, how should it be, then? You, you model on your kitchen table with some cheap paints and slap the paint on? Do we, sorry, what, what don't we do? Uh, the co the comment up above, I can't read it now. 
uh, there's something about that multiple airbrushes out of most modelers' price ranges when we built models for years with one airbrush. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. I said that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but as I always say, you get out of the hobby what you put into. It. Yeah. If, you, you, you could have two, you could do one for that one. It depends what you use. I think some people might only ever use acrylics, so then one airbrush will do you. Yeah. You don't need to buy an airbrush, you can brush paint. Yeah. Why, br why brush paint when you can spray can? Exactly. You can't complain that people do it a different way and that all oh, they're spending money. You can't complain that because they do it how they want to do it. They, everyone does their hobby in their own way. I think there's three types of modelers. I, I always think there's three. There's the people who do an hour a week, maybe yeah. to get an escape from the kids or the missus. And they, they might do it on their lap in the living room I, table. I, I do it for an hour an hour. Bro. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> They'll do it on their lap, <laughs> lap on a tray in the living room table, which I've done. Yeah. They'll do it in a little shed or a corner, you know, in the house out the way, or they've got, you know, wherever they can do it. And then there's people who do it as a full time hobby. Who like us, you know, we spend a lot of time doing it, put a lot of money into it, and a lot of time. And there's people who do it professionally. And there's a whole different step up each time, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do it, and whatever way you're doing it, as long as you're happy, that's it. But yeah, you can't criticize others for what they do it. You can't say, "Oh, that's not right," because you know I can't afford it, or whatever. Your own personal income and your own situation is completely independent of everybody else. Um, yeah. It's it's personal opinion, but yeah. Yeah, and, and opinions differ. And it's also a matter of opinion. Opinions yeah. are like arsehole. And sometimes your opinion doesn't matter. Mm. I mean, it, it's it's the same within the within the car world as well. It, I it, said it, that it's the same with any hobby. Yeah. Some, there are some people who will build a car from nut and bolt and spend all of their money, and they don't care how much it costs at the end. They'll spend all of their money on it. Because get their money back. that is their hobby. That is what they love. They'll spend every last penny they can on their hobby. And there'll be another person whose hobby is washing it. Oh, yeah. But it's the same hobby. It's a car. There you go. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Can't complain. Uh, let me just read some of these because my mouse is still charging. Uh, Ludwig's looking for a matte, neutral, grey and Boston powder. Any tips to fire him on? Any silver, metallic, etc. I need it for a red carpet. Any, any craft store, mate, online. I got mine off Amazon. Um, anywhere, mate. Anywhere should be able to get it. Any craft store, online craft store, uh, people who make cards, it's anything. Hannah might know. Hannah uses it. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Bonkers is there. He's an hour a week modeler and he uses sprays. He loves Epi Manure. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, everyone's got their own opinions. So no one's going to be the same. Exactly. You'll have your brush painting, rattle canning, airbrushing, whatever. <laughs> Oh, Sam, a bit salty, Sam. Sean's <laughs> <laughs> coming, Paul. Read Sean's. I will do it in a minute. I will do. Um, <laughs> I'm getting to it. I'm just trying to read the other ones first. Hannah says this is whatever makes you happy. Indeed, Jeff says everyone's situation is different. And I'm going to read this without pre-reading it. Uh, Sean says, anytime he's at two balls, can in a straight line when he wants to trod on the garden rake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, he says you can afford one more on there, brush. He would to save all the clean -off. So That's the key thing, you see. Who watched me clean my airbrushes in the other day? No, did it like, didn't I do it on the live stream last week? Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, Friday, yeah. Yeah. We were live one day when I did it. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday, wasn't it? I cleaned them. That's yeah, the yeah. first time I cleaned all my airbrushes in about, I can't remember, five months maybe yeah so, you, said, uh, you said it was several months yeah yeah it's been ages and why is that because they're all used for all different purposes like i said i could get rid of at a push i could get rid of two of mine maybe three i have just three airbrushes but why why make it difficult for myself <clears throat> make life absolutely easy. so remember i'm a stuck up modeling you are you are you are you are yeah at least the end bit. At least definitely the end bit. I agree with that. <laughs> Proud of that bit. I was going to say, I think we're all one of them as well. Uh, right, he says the comment on the airbrush subject. Never had an airbrush, but well thin paint with cordy brush has won me fine scale awards back in the day, guys. Excellent. Uh, guy says he gets half a day a week and he's taking over our bedroom. The wife, while well, not happy, so it was uh, the kids the rest of the week. Uh, I think Kane Nelson's got five airbrushed. Nope. 
but they still need cleaning. If you use five, go key five, or I guess one, five times. No, I my airbrush should get cleaned as I showed them in the videos I've shown before. Um, I haven't stripped them down for about five months, and they weren't even that dirty. I did. K says he only uses two, and PC Pilot says at a push you could use one. You could. Yep. No, I couldn't. See, I'm going to have you there, mate, unfortunately. I use 2K clear coat. I can't put any other paint in that airbrush because it will contaminate the clear coat. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't put metallics through it because my clear, clear coat would end up with metallic particles in it. So at a push, I couldn't use one. It'd have to be at least two. At least two. Yeah, that's the bit that got me in. Not promoting the hobby, hobby properly. Explain the most efficient way to use airbrushes promoting it correctly, in my opinion. Not but I fell towards several is a different thing altogether. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so I, used to, I, used, I used to be one of those modelers that started off in the room on a small tray. Yeah. All did, mate. I progressed yeah, to I a small table and then I progressed to the small table upstairs into the bedroom. But I took over a corner and then I spent two and a half years doing this in here and Plowing some mm -hmm. significant amount of money, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Hannah about me up on this. I started on an IKEA lap table in our living room of our old house, sat on the floor with a giant truck model. Why the hell I did that? I don't know. Brush paint and everything hammers. Ooh. And then moved to our upstairs bedroom in there. Again, sat on the floor on a lap table. We then moved here. I did it on the kitchen table for a little bit, but it was just in the way all the time. Putting it away is a pain in the backside. <laughs> I then worked off uh, TV show view. I worked off a blue TV dinner tray <laughs> in our living room and went out and bought uh, Dragon's 35th scale loophole to build oh, it. Oh. Yeah, Hannah, I remember that. I, I bought it back from Model Zone. It was huge. And Hannah's like, how are you going to build that? I said, I'll be fine. I gave up halfway through and gave up modeling. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I did build on the... T I, I had a giant roller um, toolbox, you know, the mechanics ones. Yes. I just wheel it out of the living room, out of the way when it was done. Well, Andy, um, yeah. and then I took her up again and turned our spare room into like a cave. Then we we're going to have James, so I had to get out of there. Uh, and I built this, and I progressed every way I've gone. Um, okay. I've, actually got, I've actually got less airbrushes now than I had a few years back. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I got about ten at one point. Yeah, yeah. I think you had one of every airbrush that was out at the time. I, yeah. I, at one point, I had about three evolutions and ultra and two infinities. Mm. That's a ridiculous amount of money right there. Have Hughes trimmed his brush down. Brush, sorry, brush. <laughs> I read that wrong, sorry. You nearly choked there. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Guy Shark says, damn, that's a big jug of margarita. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be your bottle, Sam. Uh, Steve says, the switching between paint types to cause the problems. That's happened more than one. It is. If you go from water-based paints to lacquer, It'll clog up on you. All that's, why I, that's why I have two because I have two. I've got a full line of Badger Minute acrylic paints and I've got a full line of LP paints. And yeah, they're not comfortable sharing the same space, let's say. Yeah. yeah. I got metallics for the reason of having metallics because no matter how good you clean your airbrush, you'll end up with metallic flakes in your paint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want that in my cars. So I don't do that. Um, the lacquers, because I keep the lacquers away from the water-based paints. And the 2K, I don't let any other paint go through that airbrush. Nothing's ever gone through that airbrush but 2K. Because you'll end up with paint particles in there. And they're really easy to clean. No bother. Uh... Right, Luke says, I think the main thing is, yeah, he could use one, but finds easy to prefers two. That's the main thing. Do what you want to do and do it for you. Exactly, mate. Yep. Uh, who's trimmed a small brush down to one hair before now? Excellent. Season has got one. six airbrushes. He's found most of the time using four. One for lacquers, one for acrylics, one for metalized, one for clear coat. Pepper. It is, mate. I've got an extra one for smaller Nina nozzle lacquers. And the UMP washes because again, put washes through your airbrush, you don't really want to put anything else through that. Then he says, Steady now. <laughs> and Ian's got a Spa Max 4, Max 4 for primers. 
Excellent. Right, we better crack on, have we? Uh, Dan, do you want to do your bit? Yeah. Go on, crack on. Dan's going to go through the former Facebook page, look at all your work that you've shared. Make a note of all the builds because the most vote, you'll get to vote for the builds at the end, and the build of the most votes will win a ten pound UP gift voucher. We've also got a twenty pound gift voucher to give away in a bit, and Tim's got a short we're only ten. Yeah, I got a short little section. section to do. So over to Dan. Stand by, everyone. Hello. Is that Sharon again? No. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start on the forum. And I did put, pop a post on about this um, when I posted, and it seems to have worked. Whether it works again, I don't know, but if people want to post on the forum, it'd be much as gracious. But if not, then we will kick it to the curb, I'm afraid. Um, it, yeah, showing three posts, or whatever the good posts, it's just not quite worth really doing it, if I'm honest. Which is sad because that's where ISM was born. Yeah. And yeah. But things the world progress. Goes. Things change and progress. Like, can I just answer yeah. this question? Andy says, is it possible to deep clean an airbrush and switch between lacquers and acrylics? Yes. But you'll have to take the airbrush completely to bits and clean it before you do that. Yeah. In my opinion. See, I, I do that. If I was gonna if I if I was gonna use it for a 2K, I would strip it completely, clean it, and then rebuild yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so it is, but it's time consuming. I'd rather just pick up an airbrush and use it. Yeah. Right, you then. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna progress with the forum this week, and I will post one more next week and we'll see how it rides. But there is a post just there that if people want to go back and have a read, they can do. If not, then move along. Um, and I'll kick off this week because I have done some modeling. Uh, but not much. Uh, this is the T55 in 48 scale from Tamir for Norman's group build. Uh, it's been primed in Northbrook Grey and painted in Olive Drab 2 uh, in the LP paint range. Uh, and weirdly, I'm quite enjoying it. Well, I was until I clipped all the wheels off tonight. And <laughs> now I know why I don't do armour. Well, it's a good little tank and I will finish it and I will... Maybe do another one, maybe. Can I do next on that? I think weathering's going to be trickier for me. As, yeah, I don't do much weathering, but I'll manage it, maybe. Uh, hang on, Dan. Just pause that a sec. I want to I want to approach something. This PC pilot saying it's clearly an elite channel, not for the beginner. Where do we say this channel's for the beginner? Where, where, where is that posted? We're definitely not elitist, either. I'm not elitist, not elitist. either. Where, where, where does it say anywhere on ISM it's for beginners? Oh. It's for it's everybody. For, it's it for states everybody. that on everywhere. Yeah. Nowhere yeah. does it state it's for the beginners. I'll help anybody and everybody if I can. Yeah. Yeah. Get the, chip, get the chip off your shoulder and just, just enjoy whatever you do and leave others alone. Simple as that. You don't like it, you post again, anything like that, I'm going to block you and ban you. Simple. I can't be asked with people like this who've got a problem and go and vent it on others. Enjoy your hobby. Leave everyone else to enjoy theirs. Go on, Dan. Carry on, mate. Yep. So we'll move on to Mr. Ranger Neil next. Uh, he says he's still trogging. <laughs> I entered that word for years. Uh, he's been trogging on with both the Viper uh, for the sci-fi build and the original Battlestar Galactica. He's done more on the Viper this week, so we'll go with that one. Uh, most of the modules are now completed. Uh, now awaiting final assembly, but because he wanted to be a smart ass and add lighting, we've had to bump in the road. Uh, the Voodoo FX lighting kit says leave the nose separate to get uh, at the battery and possibly the on-off switch. But the nose is a loose fit and it looks like the Viper is sagging. Uh, if I do that before I start cutting and soldering, I want to find a way uh, of having the power source and switch external. To the Viper, got a couple of ideas, and Digger just suggested an inductive loop uh, about which I know nothing, so more research is required. Uh, this is uh, the dry assembly modules, exhaust intakes, undercarriage, and nose are all dry fitted, so as you can see how the kit will look uh, approximately once finished. All the parts were given a coat of Tamiya Fine Surface Primer from Aerosol. Uh, the exhaust and engine detail were done by Brush. Vallejo oil is steel with copper, red, and yellow detailing. Uh, and the aft body section 
wings and intakes have a finishing coat of Tamiya AS2 light grey from an aerosol. Uh, the nose will get the same treatment once uh, the LED, pardon me, is in and the two halves are joined. See, if, you, if you're having that on a small diagram or a, a, a big net or something, what I would do is have a wire trailing off to something and I've housed the battery and the switch in that, which is how I'm going to do my uh, Millennium Falcon when I get around to finishing it. But I quite like that. And I quite like the idea of an induction loop. Uh, there was a fella at Telford, uh, must be three years back now. I put my name down and a bunch of other people put the names down for something similar where you had like a magnetic stick, you waved it near the model and it switched it on it. You know, it, it, it did, you know, everything that it said on the tin, but nothing actually materialized about it. So I don't know if the technology is available in modeling form yet, or you might have to source your own bits and bobs and hmm. Bill Gates it together. Well, it's a good idea, good. though. Yeah, it's looking good as well. well I, do, I do like a Viper from the old uh, Star Wars Galactica thing. They, look, they do look good having built a couple. And it does says that he hopes we'll keep this straight going as it doesn't use fast book over much these days. So do I. If I'm honest, that's where ISM started. But the world still revolves if we don't. Uh, this is Angry Owl next. Uh, he says, just to bulk out the forum entries in the vain hope this thread will continue. Uh, he gives us his lack of progress on the 32nd to me F-15E Strike Eagle, etc., etc. Uh, he's primed it with to me a light grey fine surface primer, decanted from the can, and the intake's top coated with MRP40, uh, which is grey. <laughs> <laughs> no, knowing Al, all, all Al's paint has got a massive paint rack and it's all grey. Right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, nice one, Al. That, that sounded as for me, but then again, I'm elitist. So. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's a buffer. A fluffer? <laughs> fluffer? Yeah, right. It's an ultimate buffer. Wow. <laughs> it's an ultimate fluffer. Yes, that oh. sounds like fun. <laughs> That's why Al's got false teeth. <laughs> uh, moving on, this is Mr. Big Wall or Mrs. Big Wall. He says, hello, everyone. Uh, getting close to finishing up is to me a 35th scale Brumba. Uh, mostly just some small de detail parts and some weathering to wrap up. Looking real nice. Yeah. Good. I like that. I like that. Easy like looking that. thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's ugly, but looking good. It's mm. got a nice uh, you talking about me? <laughs> no, Sam. Oh. What? <laughs> who? <laughs> you know where you live, Scarrigan. Yeah, that's true, Sam. That's true. Uh, we're going to swiftly move on to Tomcat64 next. He says, evening, young Dan. Good man. Uh, this week he's been pottering away on the Revell 72nd Panther G. Uh, it's been a nice quick build with only a couple of minor issues. Uh, has been thoroughly hosed down in Ultimate Bright Primer and Vallejo Model Air Dark Yellow. Uh, hoping to move into the camo scheme this weekend. Stay safe and well, everyone. You know that's going to turn out nice, don't you? Yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna turn out turn that nice again. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, this is Bifford next. He's finished his to me at 112 scale Ducati eleven ninety nine Panagale Tricolore. He's used to me a lacquer and AK Extreme Metal paints. The clear coat is zero diamond two K. And he's also used the top studio detail upset along with Tamir's fork set. Very nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, this is LW Wales uh, this week. He says, evening, Dan scatters adequately. Well, maybe. He's been cracking on with the RC213V in one top scale by Tamir. Uh, some tiny bits done this week. He's got some PE added and the airbox on. I uh, think the chain really pops. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. Yeah, that's, that's nice business. That must, that must be one of their most successful model kits. Definitely. Got to be. Got to be. And they must have sold a bunch of the fork sets and the detail upsets. Well, yeah, the, two on, the two on three. Yeah. 
Uh, probably has sold, but I don't know if it's one of the best. But yeah, don't see all that many of them built. Compared no, to those ones. People buy them and stash them. Yeah, well, it's still out, isn't it? So, um, I do. Yeah. Do you know what I like on that? I like his headstock, who were, and I also like the reservoir for either the brake or the yeah, clutch. It's good, doesn't Ooh. it? Yeah. yeah, that looks good. I do like that a lot. Very, very, very nice work. Very Rich nice stuff. work. Very nice work. Uh, this is one small step. Nineteen sixty-six. Next, he says, "Good evening, everyone." Uh, he continued to work on his one four hundred scale three D printed Soviet Buran. Uh, he's primed it and ready for paint, but then dropped one of the boosters on the floor, which broke it beyond repair. So I had to print mm -hmm. another. The broken one is hiding at the back, out of view. Uh, he needs decals for this model and downloaded and scanned a picture of a Buran one one forty fourth kit decal sheet that he edited and scaled the the plain paper test fit pretty well. And he's looking forward to trying out laser water slide decal sheets for the first time. Uh, he's also found a nice 3D model uh, of the train transporter used to move this vehicle to the launch pad. And I think it would make a nice base, but not sure if those tiny handrails at 1 400th scale are pushing the limits of what his printer can do. We will see. Would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be That's awesome. To be fair, and to be fair, if 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 the printer struggles doing that, I'd print the base, uh, and I'd probably just add like wires or you know mm. a bit of something. But I think uh, Mr. Norman is very 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 handy with a three D printer these days. Yeah, it's the future of modeling right there. It is. It is the future of modeling. My three D printer's just over my shoulder, and it's just stopped printing. And yeah, it's yeah. But that's the uh, transporter that moved in. Yeah. <coughs> and weirdly, we've not done this for a bit. We're going to move on to page two on the forum. Uh, and this is Digger 303. He says, uh, ready for primer on this AV Club M5A1 Stuart. Another good looking piece. Mm -hmm. Nice time out. Nice gun barrel, actually. I quite like that. Stuart. Very nice, still Stuart. Uh, this is Jeff Jaff next. Young Kevin. Uh, he says, just about finished off uh, to me a 48th scale T55 for Norman's group build. He's made 100% out of the box, but didn't use the kit decals. It's a great mojo Kickstarter. The kit built up easily. Highly recommended. Primed with ultimate, finished with old Hataka acrylics and light weathering with pigments and AK pencils. Very nice, man. That's, that's nice what a finished model looks like, Kev. Oh, thank you for that. Nice job, bud. I'm doing the very same model, but with sure kit. Uh, this is Hey Mika. Ooh. He Ooh, says, good evening man. all. To keep the forum post alive, good man. Uh, this Corona time, my nemesis has been uh, uh, building boats, Marie uh, Jean wooden boat. Uh, it's more or less ready now, and he don't touch it anymore. It's not plastic, I know, but it's modeling, so thumbs up. Uh, building boats, Marie Jean 150th scale. Uh, Ward, few plastic parts, glue, and basic paints, and a lot of swearing with those ropes, strings, or whatever they're called. I don't know. He's not a sailor. I, I like that, though. That's really nice. That is yeah, nice, good. isn't it? Everybody should build a wooden ship, Tim. Yeah, I'm going to say Tim oh, might have. Uh, he's, he's, he's done a super duper duper. Woo, 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 that's that's what you look like finished. Actually, get it finished. And it's, although it's not a big, sh it's not a big boat, to even get one of those to that point, it's yeah. a lot of work. And well done, because it's not. Yep. His, you think, oh, it's easy, yeah? No, no. Have a go at that. <laughs> Not easy at all. And you've done yeah. a fine job there. Really like done a very yeah. fine job. Yeah. Very, very fine job. Nice little fishing. Fishing. I don't know what the word is. What was it called? Does it say what it's called up there? Uh, it's just it's a wooden boat. It's from Billing Boats. A mirror, mirror, Billing, yeah. Mary Jean, yeah. Yeah, and I did that with Everard, the Thames barge. Fisherman, fishing drawer. Very nice. 
It's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, this is Mr. Hawk Moon next. He says, hi, everyone. He started on the re-release, uh, 112th Trumpeter GT40, uh, under the Magnifier brand, and it's all going together well so far. That's yeah, sweet. 112th? That'll be a fair size. <coughs> mm. uh, this is uh, Bob Models. Uh, he says, hello, I have just completed Fernando Alonso's Renault R23 by Ravel. It was his first race winning car at the Hungarian Grand Prix in 2003. That's nice. That is cool. Yeah, I do like that. And Mr. Eyebrows is back next year. Isn't he? Woohoo! Yeah, I'm delighted about that, weirdly. It, it'll, be, it'll be annoying some more Renault. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, he'll make some friends. Oh, yeah. he's going to make a lot of friends. <laughs> a lot. Be interesting to see how quick he is. is yes. He, and Sam is in a Renault, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You told me. Yeah, man. That's, 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 that's how quick he'll be. He'll be he's in a Renault. That's how quick. <laughs> I is, went to night, yeah. The thing is, Fernando's got big elbow, so yeah. He yeah. can make that car as wide as that track when he needs to. Oh yeah. And sadly, mm -hmm. we, we have run to the end of the forum. It's nice uh, to see two pages on the forum. It is though. nice to see two pages. And people, if you if you want to post and use the forum, please use it. Otherwise, it will sadly get left by the wayside and I don't want that to happen because that's how I found ISM through the forum and uh, the medium of dance it'll um, definitely be elitist <laughs> uh, we're going to swiftly slide into face ache next when the mice catch up running round there we go this is Mr Mark Ewing is the first one out the gate on face ache and he says he's about 80% done on the Meng 135th M3A3 Bradley with Busk 3. Uh, a few things to do, some small weathering on the turret, and he should be done. He's not into heavy weathering, as less is more. Uh, the tracks uh, wasn't easy to put on and very fiddly at times, but once on, they stay there in with enough sag part to make or oh, knickknacks. Very nice, Mark. Paddy Wack, get the dog a bone. Hey. <laughs> Uh, hey, a, little, that, Mark. a little dust with some sand brought them to life. Yeah, that's yeah. nice work, Mark. Very good, mate. <laughs> yeah. And How many airbrushes did you use? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no airbrushes were hard. This, 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 this has got some legs, this. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Simon Slater next. And um, this is Edward BF109E, uh, E3, sorry. Seer belts. I'm guessing seat belts, but seer belts. Very, nice. Very nice. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very fiddly, and it needs a cleaner cotton bud. Just saying. <laughs> thing that's, thing that's is, though, isn't it? I just cleaned the. Our dirty were his ear. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't his ear. Well, we we're, we're not going to ask that question though, Sam. We're going to leave oh, it up to the people's imagination. Uh, this is Mr. Richie Lamb next. He's finally calling her dumb. It's a Ryfield Models Chally 2 in 35th scale. He's primed it in UMP black and painted in Tamiya acrylics. Weathered using UMP washers in light dirt and earth all through his ultimate apex. He's tried. Oh, you don't need to use an apex. You're going to blow the paint for a straw. <laughs> He's tried the technique from Paul's video build and he's pleased with the way it turned out. Have a good oh, one. It's good, mate. Very good. Very nice. It's, yeah, that's cool. it's, it's, it's an awesome. It's you. You're not going to ever realise how big that thing is till you see it in real life. It's a monster compared, compared to any other armor cat I've built before. It is huge, like ridiculously big. Dwarfs everything. It's just an immense piece of armor. Yeah. Well I, know oh, how, well, I know how big the paint stand is, and I suspect he's got the same mm. turntable that I've got. And, yeah, it's not a small turntable. So if that tank, yeah. I, I, got, I had to get a 35-centimeter long display case, and it only just fits in it. Wow. It's massive. Big it's piece of wide, thing, beefy armor. It's called Megatron for a reason. Well, exactly, yeah. It's very cool. Very good kit as well. Highly recommend that. It's oh, called Don't Be On The DC. It's called Don't Be On The Receiving End Of That Shell. Oh, yeah. Well, I, nearly swore, I nearly swore him. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, this is Eric Kirwan next. Ooh. I apologise if I butchered your name. Uh, this is his 135th scale to me, a Panzer 38T. It's uh, worn winter camo, rusty exhaust on using MIG washable winter camo over to me, a red brown and chipped using hairspray technique. Then raw, um, raw umber oil paint dotted on and blended using lighter fluid. I like, his, I like his rusted exhaust. Mm hmm. Like his rusty tip, mm. his rusty uh, tailpipe, yeah. <laughs> his, rusty, his rusty vent. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Dan's laugh so good. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. Remember when you people complaining about your laugh, Dan? I hate Dan's yeah. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll try. We'll try and stop him laughing then. So. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try and be all serious and moody. Yeah. Don't be laughing now. No, stop laughing. Stop it. Stop it now. Uh, this is Ruxin Andrew Jewell. I, again, I apologise if I've mispronounced Andrew. He's working on a small base for his Morsa uh, lately. His figures are ordered and we'll finish this one off. Do like love, that. I've got to say, I love the, love the camo pattern on that. It's yeah. wicked. It reminds me of the... Uh, oh, that Bob little car, one I've got. Uh, that little <laughs> car <laughs> thing. <clears throat> I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, the, the Skoda. That's the one. Yeah, it's the same camo, I think. Yeah. yeah. And it, it just. I've got to name that. What's it called? That really camo? hard. Huh? Re really hard camo. No, it's, it's got a proper name, that type of camo, with a black outline. I can't think what it's called now. I, I think it. Box down. it Can I just say so? Everyone in the chat's talking about this guy, about the airbrushes. Do you reckon that guy would have a shift fit if he saw my cave? Oh my god, oh, yeah. or, or dance, oh mine, yeah. <laughs> or that guy with the airbrushes that Jim Clark just pointed out, yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. The 40. Yeah. Yeah. How many? The guy on yeah. on Facebook shared about 40 yeah. airbrushes all laid out, yeah. And I'm sure he said in the comments that he's, he's got more than that. But I do like that camo pattern, it's really nice camo pattern. And, and this one, when I seen this one yesterday, this one really floated my boat. This one, oh, well, RC one six six. Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. Trevor Dwyer next, and this is oh, RC. Yeah, it's an RC. Uh, this is his Honda uh, RC one six six. This is his fifth build and his first ever buy. And he has to say everything that could go wrong did go wrong, but he tried as hard as he knew how to with the techniques uh, that he's still learning from us. Uh, he can't quite believe that someone wants to buy it from him and put it into a case. Excellent. Well, Excellent. Why not? Well, I, I built that kit many, many moons ago. I think literally it just came out probably nine years ago I built that. Um, it's a great kit of a lovely, lovely bike. And Honda did an advert years mm -hmm. ago it went through the power boats the cars yeah, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. and it had one of them on it i think it was one of them on the advert like, and it, that's what inspired me to build it, it you want to on them didn't you tim oh we got you on didn't we I've got one. I've got yeah one. It's, it's a nice kit and for some reason of all the bikes i've got i don't have one in the stash really and i need to get one because it's lovely to build it's yeah, totally it's different than a modern day bike completely yeah. Oh, different. yeah. it's very of very course. nice <clears throat> i will say that nose cone numbers are nightmare <laughs> yeah, it was back in the days. So I didn't have any decent solutions back then. For a first awesome job, that Trevor. I would say for his first bike and his fifth build, I think Trevor definitely, definitely yeah. is starting to find his feet. And I'll say now, Trevor, if you do sell it, whatever number you think of, double it first and offer him yeah. that price. Yeah, because you will, you will get kicked. Yeah, you'll never get the money for what you made off it, but double it and see what they say. Just think of a number and double it. Beautiful build. Very nice. Uh, this is Mr. Mark Wiseman next, and this is his 35th scale Meng King Tiger. Mm, so nice job of that. Very nice. Very nice cool. Camo, nice camo pattern. Not get that with a paintbrush. <clears throat> uh, this is Callum Hayton next. Uh, he started a new build this week. It's a frog. Ooh, one five hundredth scale HMS Undyne. Wow. Oh, size that. So is that just one plastic block? Uh, uh, that's going to no, be, be too much. I'm not too sure. It might be. And then <clears> all <throat> the big ads that go on top. 
Prague. That's got to be old, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's definitely early sixties. Undies. Oh, undine. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you could just. I was going to say you could see the skid mark, but you can't. <laughs> you can see the trails. <laughs> oh dear, my twelve-year-old boys. Oh, he's getting worse. Uh, this is Mr. Leon Verdenshot next, and he's working on a thirty-fifth scale box ambulance from Revel. Hang on, what the hell is that thing? It's on. Uh, that looks like some sort of torture device. How cool is that thing? <laughs> that is quite cool, to be fair. Could you imagine that for armour, actually? That's what it's for, but the look of it. And looking at that, it rotates like, a, you know, like the car rotisserie thing. Yeah. yeah for the... Leon, if you're watching, we need to know what that is. Yes, definitely post on ISM about that, mate. Definitely. That's really cool, isn't it? I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's cool. Right? Just like, like something they used in medieval times. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, the bloke on the left of the back looks like he's been on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, yeah, right? He's making a good job of that, and we're very intrigued about the uh, contraption, let's mm. call it. Very nice. Mm. Uh, this is Mr. Mike Killing next. Hobby he crap. Says he's back on his 48 scale hobby crap, the <laughs> HC3, uh, in the middle of trying to make it more accurate, uh, make it a more accurate otter. Mm. Wow, that's. He's working hard on them floats. He is, isn't he? Yep. And to get a matching as well, that's hard. A couple really. of floaters there. A couple, uh, I only have sinkers these days, son. Oh. I think I have too much bread in my diet. Too many oh. pills for me. I'm going to apologise about your name, but this is Botko Tamas. Apologies. Okay. Uh, he's finishing four models at the same time. Like a long time. I couldn't do multiple kits. I can do the multiple kits, but it's just not at the same time. No. Do my head and I would crack. Yeah, that'd boss me as well. You'd lose and your hair when you stand. I would my hair would fall out with worry. Is that right for you, you know? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Barco is working off a, a small table, so it's yep. he's doing well. Yeah. Producing yeah, good work. You can work off the floor with no table and not be a litre thing. Well, I've worked off the floor with no table. I remember you the floor you like fell down the stairs, Sam. <laughs> well, I, I didn't that time, but <laughs> <laughs> I fell out of bed down on Thursday night, Wednesday night. Oh, dear. I think, I think you need a bungalow, Sam. You want to see my war wind? Yeah. No. <laughs> No. I think even <laughs> in the bomb rule, Dan, I could do one. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Robert Adams next. And this is his Trump to 135th scale BR52. Uh, a true beast of a kit. Uh, a couple of weeks in, but it's getting there. Do you like oh, that? That's cool. Wow. Cool, I like trains. I like yeah. planes. I, I've tried them. I always go off track. <laughs> Mm. Or off the right, or off the rails. Oh. <laughs> I know. I'd keep train of thought. Yeah, you lose oh. them. Oh dear! Uh, this is Kenny Waters next. Uh, he's been adjusting and testing fitment of the Tamir Castrol Super chassis uh, into the Airshima Rocket Bunny GT eighty six. That's going to be a funky fit. That. Yeah. Is that the one where you have to cut the arches and all that? I think so, yeah. I'm guessing that to me, to Aoshima is going to be tricky as. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll come good for him, though, in the end. Yeah, yeah. He'll, be fine. He'll be fine. Uh, this is Mr. Darryl E. Masters next. He says he's still slowly working through the Tamiya 35th scale Tiran 5. And the mini art T55 tracks for the Norman D T55 group build. And his heart goes out to the mini art T55 punishment build. Yeah, thanks, Norman. <laughs> yeah. I see he's done a good job on that. Those tracks oh, are lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. Awesome. Real nice work, Daryl. Keep well, that color did you spray the tank, Daryl? Uh, it'll be a uh, Sinai Grey, wouldn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, mine, yeah. That's, that's, that's his first tank, isn't it? Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so. Yeah, I very like nice. Mate. I like it. I like that. 
I think he was going to do the mini art and he switched to that one, which was a yeah, wise. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Wise man. <laughs> <Damn you know. laughs> uh, this is Mr. Daniel Blair next. Oh, I like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is his MPC 1978 Dodge Monaco in 24th scale. He's primed it into me a grey, then TS22 light green. Masked for the stripes and then TS10 French blue. Cleared into me a TS65 pearl clear. Then smashed with the 93 Bigfoot monster truck. Actually, you, you, you used a heat gun and dropped a one kilogram scale calibration weight on the softened styrene. Uh, he's used to me a black panel line color for the stains. Uh, this kit was absolutely awful. An appropriate candidate for monster truck smashing. That's good. Well, well, yeah. That was good. That's good. He's done well with it. Yeah. Hang on. What did you say, Tim? I used to love making crash cars. What do you mean? You used to? I thought that's what you've been doing anyway. <laughs> I do I do like where he went with that. It's out of the box and yeah. Oh uh, this is Nigel Kelsall next. Oh Nigel. He uh. says he's been busy modifying the old Airfix 1144 Saturn 1B kit uh, to be the AS203 launch vehicle. Uh, still early days, but lots of scratch building so far to add the hold down points uh, and correct for the kit mistakes. Uh, first stage prime in UMP black, and no, he is not compensating for something with this. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, very good. It's a cool idea, though, um, yeah. modifying airfix. Definitely everything airfix needs modifying apart from the new stuff. Uh, this is Mr. Patrick Kennedy next. He says he's just finished this kit, bought in 1985 for $12. Uh, it included the electric motor and many nice features for the price. Now it's built after 35 years. It is a Gunzi Sangyo 124th scale Porsche 928S. Uh, the paint is uh, dark green in whatever that says at the beginning. And TS3 dark yellow. Uh, AS22 Darth Irk, uh, uh, Darth Irk, uh, Darth, uh, no, Darth Irk, uh, that sounds like a crap baddie, that, doesn't it? Darth, <laughs> Dark Earth Combo. <coughs> uh, the electric motor was used years ago to rescue a uh, robot paint shaker, since he knew it would mot wouldn't motorize this kit, it took a little while, uh, a little work to get the Tamiya AS aircraft spray shined up nice. Uh, you always like the AS1. A zero kit, uh, as shown in the box, a complete bare chassis, and the motorized car would be built with this kit. Eight tires, too. Cool. Uh, the seats fold and slide forward so you can change the battery under the back seat. Uh, see recent posts for more. Thanks for looking and have a great show. That's. Right yeah, I like that. I like yeah. it. it's different. Yeah. What, what, what it is. I like what? it. That's what Cookies. Oh, nice. Cookies. Chocolate. Um, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk, but nobody else piped up. I felt bad. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this is Mr. Sean White next. Uh, he says he's been finishing up uh, on a pair of Williams F1 cars this week. The Gunzi Sangio 24th scale Williams uh, Judd FW12 and the Tamiya 120th scale Williams Reynolds FW13B. Both kits are old and subsequently the blue decals in both were toast. I bet they were crunchy. Uh, so I had to paint the blue on instead. Both kits painted in Gravity Spain titanium white and Williams blue and yellow. Uh, managed to salvage the rest of the Sangyo decals, but I had to buy some Shunko decals for the Tamir kit. Very nice. Nice looking motor. Very, very yeah. nice. Nice pair of looks. Yeah, 124 for 120. Wow. It shows the difference in the scale, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I like this one as well. This is Mr. Dan Edmonds. He says, hi, Dan. This week he's finished the engine and engine bay on his 24th scale Fujimi Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. He's used UMP primers, Tamir LP paint, 
zero textured paint and some one twentieth scale motorsport carbon decals. Uh, just got the doors and door cards to do, and she'll be finished. Have a great show and a wonderful weekend, everyone. Excellent. It's looking good, yeah. isn't it? That yeah, colour is amazing. I do yeah. like that colour. Yeah, you did a very good job. Really nice. And against the black, I think it looked really good. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, this is Mr. Adam Challenger next. Oh, uh, he says, yo, dudes. Uh, managed to finish the Hobby Boss 48 scale KA27 Helix this week. Uh, Bren Gun Photo Etch and uh, AMD Resin Seats, UMP Black Primer, Mr. Hobby Paints, UMP Washes, and AK Stains. It's an awesome kit. Have a great weekend, everyone. That is a cracking job on that one. Yeah, he's, that looks better. Compared to the picture that he actually posted in our chat, that's very underweathered. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they get really monkey there, man. That's very nice. I do like that a lot. That's, That's a superb workout. I like. Wonder how, I wonder how many airbrushes Adam used. Oh, I bet Adam's Adam uses one for each finger. I'm sure. Do, do you think we need a poll on our SMC how many airbrushes people actually have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do we should do, yeah, yeah. Say, do you want to do it? I'll do that. Yeah, just um, do like one, two, three to six, and then put six plus. Yeah. Or and then give another option for I'm elitist. Oh, we'll give it. <laughs> Definitely put that in there. Because I guarantee, I'll almost guarantee 90% of the people out there have got more than one airbrush. Definitely. Definitely. So don't put none, because we're not we're not asking is everybody airbrush. Just interested in multiple airbrushes. <clears throat> uh, and the final one this evening is Mr. Sean Bradder, modeler in a shed. Ah. He says this week he has been mostly working on this 20,000 leagues under the sea 3D printed Nautilus. He's printed it in many parts in the grey on the Anycubic Photon uh, with the glass parts printed in clear green resin. Uh, Tamir LP paint sprayed through the UMP Apex and every rivet hand painted copper. Uh, the sub was weathered using UMP rust, dirt, and algae washers with X22 sprayed over the top. Some great builds on here as always. That's great. That's, that's, like that. that's lovely. That, mate. Really yeah. I remember watching that as a kid. I always loved that thing. Yeah. Yep. I watched it the other last week. Uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh yeah. And wow. Nemo and Not Snortless. Yeah. Cool. Do you know that film was the film that made Sean Connery retire from acting? <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but it did. <laughs> and that's it. Three hundred million in the bank. Excellent. So. Um, so I'm just laughing at this PC44 still preaching to people in the chat. Kevin put he's only got one, he's only done three models. And Kevin, he's put Kevin, well, don't PC pilot, why'd you neck in? <laughs> so Tim's going to put a poll on our SM Facebook where if PC pilot actually bothered to go and have a look, you'd see what kind of community we've actually got. And we're not elitist at all, cater for everybody in the hobby. Um, just based an opinion on somebody talking about airbrushes. I've never seen the name before in my life in the chat. So if you want to go and answer it in on ISM Facebook, pop on over there. Tim will put the poll up. He'll let us know when he's done it. And let us know how many airbrushes you actually use. I don't think we should put own, Tim. I think you should put use. Yes, use, yes. Because we, yeah, I, you could own, I could put 100, couldn't I, with all the ones we've got in stock. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, how many airbrushes do you, do you have in use? That just come to me then. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No, Normans are called dust collectors. <laughs> well, you still use them; they're still there to be used. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll see. Out of interest, in PC Pilot, you will see a bench update on this channel. Um, off me. In maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, and I will go for my airbrushes. You can have a look for yourself why I use them. What's Doesn't mean you have to, but that's the reason why I use them and the reasons <laughs> I do. And the other, the other, the other famous saying is "horses for courses." Horses, yes, yeah. Or horses for burgers in Aldi. Well, or, <laughs> or, or chops. Have, or you, have you done it, Tim? Yes, I can't. There you go. So the polls up on the ISM Facebook page, which is linked in any of these non-live videos I've done on this Elitist channel. If you go back a little bit, you'll see them. <laughs> Click on that. Come join our Facebook community. As Hannah says, community is the key word, indeed. Um, and go, go and participate in the poll because I, I will put money on most modelers having multiple airbrushes 
So I've been asking if you airbrush or don't. That's a completely different thing. Yes, and don't poke the bear, as Hannah says. Yes. It's not, good, it's not a good bear to poke at all. Unless you want it clawing your eyes out. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> um, right, so Dan's gone through it all. You're going to get the time now. It takes Dan. Uh, now, it's not a nice chat, though, PC. You, you've insulted us. It's not, not a nice chat at all. You, you called me elitist and us elitist and the channel elitist. So it's not a nice chat, though. Um, it might work. <laughs> so that's that. But anyway, whatever. Um, Dan's, you've got now the time that Dan spends you recapping the builds to vote. So try and remember the builder's name and the subject that they've done. And you get one vote each. At the end, we'll tally them up. Uh, the builder the most votes will win a UP £10 gift voucher. Simple as that. Uh, so I'm going to hand you back to Dan. And uh, Norm, you're going to post the numbers? Uh, uh, Tim. Tim will put start your numbers, not numbers. Uh, uh, Al, Al's going to do I'll, that. I'll do oh, it. yeah. Yeah, Al's going to put... When you see Al say start your voting now, uh, Norman will not put a timer because we don't use that on this. No, we don't use it anymore. Oh, God. Numbers. It's all about numbers. Uh, away you go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> numbers. Numbers. All right, Dan, start. I am ready. Oh. We have uh, mine green turd. Uh, my Tamir T55 and 48 scale. We have Ranger Neil with his Battlestar Galactica Viper from, I want to say Ravel. Hang on. Um, hang on. Yeah. It's so got to be Ravel, isn't it? It's got to be Ravel because there's only Ravel that do that one. Although Mobius did one as well. So maybe. Well, that's his Viper. Uh, we have Mr. One Mac with his 30 second scale to me at F 15E Strike Eagle. Uh -huh. In grey, weirdly. Uh, we have Big Wall with his Tamiya 35th scale Brumba. We have Tomcat 64 with his Revell 72nd scale Panther G. We have Bifford Matthew with his Tamiya 112 scale Ducati 1199 Panigale Tricolore. We have LW Wales with his RC 213V in 112th scale by Tamiya. We have one small step 1966 with his 1400 scale 3D printed Soviet Energia Buran. Possibly butchered the name. We have Digger 303 with his AFV Club M5A1 Stewart. We have Jif Jaff with his Tamir 48 scale T55. Uh, and we have Hey Mika with his Billing Boats Marie Jean, Marie Jean Wooden Boat. We have Mr. Hawk Moon with a uh, 112 scale Trumpeter GT40. And Bob Models uh, has a Reynolds. 23 by Ravel. I do like that. That looks really good. I am just going to click back to that page just because I'm weird. Uh, we have Mr. Mark E. Wing with his Meng 35th scale M3A3 Bradley. We have Simon Slater with his Edward BF 109E3 seatbelts. We have Richie Lamb with his uh, Ryfield Models Charlie 2 in 35th scale. We have Eric Kerwan with his 35th scale to me, a Panzer 38T. We have Ruxin Andrew Jewell with his uh, little base diorama vignette for his Morsa in that scale, 35th, I'm guessing. Trevor Dwyer with his uh, Honda RC166. I'm also guessing 112th scale, maybe. Uh, we have Mark Wiseman with his 35th scale Meng King Tiger. We have Callum Hayton with his Frog 1500th scale HMS Undyne. We have Leon Verdenshot with his 35th scale Boxer Ambulance from Ravel. And we need more info on that. Uh, that uh, yes, definitely. Track yeah. stand. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Mike Killen with his 48th scale Hobbycraft <laughs> DHC3. <laughs> Uh, Bartko Tamas with his 
four models of varying descriptions. Mr. Robert Adams with his Trump to 35th scale BR-52. Mr. Kenny Wooters with his... Uh, now then, it's a, it's a, I want to swear, I want to use a swear word because they use it a lot, but I'm not going to. But this is a Tamir Castrol Super Chassis on to a Rocket Bunny GT86 from Airshima. We have Daryl E. Masters with his uh, 35th scale Tamir Tiran 5 and his tracks from Mini Art. Weirdo. Uh, Mr. Daniel <laughs> Bear with his MPC 78 Dodge Monaco in 24th scale. We have Mr. Nigel Kelsall with his Airfix 1144 Saturn 1B kit. We have Mr. Patrick Kennedy with his Gunzi Sangio 24 scale Porsche 928S. Mr. Sean White with his pair of uh, Williams cars, one Gunzi Sangio 24 scale and one 20th scale uh, Williams Renault cars. Good looking motors. Mr. Dan Edmonds with his 24th scale Fuji <coughs> Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Mr. Adam Challenger with his Hobby Boss 48th scale KA27 Helix. And Mr. Sean Bradder with his uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea 3D printed Nautilus. Hi, Sean Dan. And as Dan's finished, uh, we'll I, I put them. my votes in the chat to make it easy. Close the voting. I voted for Adam's Helix because it's beautiful. Uh, have you redone that, have you? Yeah, it's in the chat, mate. I put it in before. Okay, cool. Don't you like it really there? Cool. Yeah, and we'll pull out same name. I'm going to say, Timothy, uh, nope. if you're taking the votes, Trevor Dwyer with his Honda RC166 yeah. for me. Very nice. I had a few, but that one got me because it's only his, his fifth build and his third bike. Yeah, yeah just nice. build. Anyone else? I'm going to go with... Kev, Jif Jaff for his T55 because some cool. of that weathering on there was excellent, spot on. Uh, um, Norman? Well, Sam, go on, Sam. Sorry, um, the bike 166. Okay, Norm, I'm gonna go with uh, Adam's Kia 27. I really like that, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, but is that the hell? Yeah, yeah, there you got there. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can add them up, Tim. Are you done? Yeah, that, so. Uh, in joint third place, we've got Sean's uh, two, 2000 Leagues Under the Sea. 2000 oh, Leagues. Excellent. 20,000 Leagues. And uh, Cats 928 in third oh, place. Nice. Yep, yeah, nice one on there. Uh, in second place, we've got Biff's uh, Panagali. Nice. Well done there. But out in front, we've got Adam and his Helix helicopter. No, well done, Adam. Well done, Adam. If you're watching, Adam, just message me your email, mate, and I'll sort it out for you. Well done, Adam. That's superb. Very well done to everyone. Stick around. We've got a giveaway to give away. It's a bit of elitist, but we'll do it. And Tim's got some elitist kits to look at. Yeah. So Great. just out of interest, right, that poll's been on ISM for nine minutes. And bear in mind, there's 18,000 members on there, right? So Tim's put options of one to seven airbrushes and the option elitist, which I have clicked along with Luke and Josh Goad as well um so it's got one to seven airbrushes now 11 people have voted one and i'll try and quickly work out the others so anyone else who wants more than one is six eleven seventeen uh twenty six thirty six forty five sixty five sixty seven people own more than one airbrush yes and of them six own six three own seven 505, 904, 1903, and 22.02. So let's see what that's like after a couple of days of voting. Yep. Because uh, as I said, I will almost guarantee 80% of airbrush uh, modelers have more than one airbrush. And it's not about being elitist, it's getting the most out of your hobby and making life easier for yourself. If you don't want to own more than one airbrush, that's fine. You can give your opinion, like I gave mine, the reasons I have mine. Forcing yours into other people isn't acceptable, and that's what's happening in that chat. Trying to force an opinion. And I'll be honest, I don't give a shit about anybody else's opinion. I listen to myself and follow my own ways. I'll listen to people by all means, but I say this a lot. It's a matter of opinion. Your opinion doesn't matter. So... 
that is that. It's as simple as that. If you want to brush paint, whatever you want to do, if you're happy doing it, that's fine. I will not criticize anybody for brush painting, using a spray brush or whatever. So there you go. That's, who are you laughing at, Dan? You're muted. I've just, one of the lads from work just sent me a video. He's gone out. He hasn't been out for ages because he's just had a baby and he's gone out and a strange girl's touching him inappropriately and he needs a, an, an appropriate adult. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> why has he phoned you then? Yes, Caesar. It's over on ISM. It's, it's a poll. I mean, um, because I'm an appropriate yeah. adult, Timothy. You're not. I am. Well, I say appropriate adult. Not allegedly. I <laughs> so what, what we'll do for next Friday is we'll sit down and get the analytics of our votes and see the percentages. That That's a job for Al. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm on it. Good man. And uh, next week, we'll report exactly how many more uh, modelers, just on ISM, and we're certainly not elitist on the page. We've got models oh. from every aspect, from professional down to beginner. Yep. Whatever. See, that's what drew me to ISM originally in the forum, because... It, I mean, I, I still build shite now. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But, yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> but it drew me in because of nobody's over themselves. Nobody's up themselves. No, do you know what I mean? It, it, it's, you know, if, if like you say, if, you, if you're painting with a, a mop out at kitchen, nobody will pull you down for it. Everybody's no. there to help you. And, mm. you know, it's, it's ISM is, is probably the better of the Facebook groups slash forums out there for assistance. Yeah. Of now, all... that PC44 pilot, but Paul, you were wrong. I was simply implying that the chat was at the realm of normal modeler. Well, Jim's come back with a great question. What is a normal modeler? Yeah. Because there's no, yeah, no yeah, such thing as normal. normal. There's no, no such thing as normal. And you didn't imply anything. You insulted us by calling the channel elitist. That's not implying. You stated this is mm. an elitist channel not aimed at the beginner. And as I said from the beginning, nowhere on our seminars does it say it's ain't completely the beginner. We cover all aspects, all genres, yep. all everything. It's on Facebook ISM, mate. Paul, not my Paul ISM, sorry. Um, on the ISM Facebook channel. See, so, IS, ISM, we encourage everybody to post because nobody's going to get kicked in guts or, you know what I mean? It, everybody will get encouragement on how to progress and better their hobby whether it be through tools or, you know, techniques, watching p other people doing stuff. Sounds wrong, I know, but, you know. Whatever you're into when you are down the car park. You get, you get the drift. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and sorry. So, yeah, yeah, this is the difference. We, I gave my opinion, you're forcing yours, and that's different. You, you're going on and on and on. I never said anywhere you have to. I said I have five, and I have them for a reason. I started off with one. I had a badge of 200 for years, um, yeah. probably eight years. And then I moved on to a harder. Yeah. I had one, then I had two, and then I moved on, and I, I progressed as I went. That's it. It's progression. You do it in any hobby. You'll buy, you'll start golf, you'll buy a cheap set of yeah. golf clubs, yeah. and you'll progress and buy an expensive set, and so on and so forth. So it's not rubbish at all. No. PC Pilot, the whole chat there, everyone can go back up and read it. You've been stating that elitism and it's not for beginners, blah, blah, blah. So the only rubbish is, sadly, what you posted. And I will call you out for that. Everyone can see it. The chat's there. It's not hidden. And you've heard me speak and see me type in the chat. So I think we've met pretty much all varieties of modeler at Telford over the years from beginner to, you know, to somebody who's just getting in hobby or somebody who's been doing hobby 20, 30 odd years and and yeah, they're all they're all at different skill levels. Whether it, you know, some some modelers can bash cars out, bikes out, and do 20, 30, 40 a year. And then there'll be some modelers that do two builds, but they're the best builds that they can do. And they, do you know what I mean? It, it's it's yeah, that yeah, that smells. I mean, it does on this group. No, definitely not. It might work crap, and yet I'm still sitting here. Yeah, Tell you what, PC Pilot, go and join ISM Facebook and go and have a look around there. Yeah, yeah, go and have a sniff um, round and come we'll back to your that. work. Well, yeah, we don't, well, we don't even need to see that, but you can just go and have a look. Go and have a look at our community and see if we're still elitist. Go watch some of my videos. Yep. Well, I could build, I could build hundred pound kits all day long, and I don't. Yeah. 
No. And I don't. And I, I've got loads of kits in my stash that are rare and worth a lot of money. And quite often I don't build them because nobody else could. Because they couldn't get the kit. So I pick stuff people can get. Yeah. So call what you want, but don't backtrack on what you said. You said it. It's in the chat. It's there. Everybody read it. Join ISM face group. Introduce yourself. Show us some of your work. But most importantly, have a snoop around. Yeah. And, and you'll you'll get the gist of what ISM is essentially about. And if you can't find it on Facebook, there's also a forum you can go and join and go and have a sniff around on there. And it's exactly the same on there as it is on Facebook. It's, it's, it's yeah, there's nothing elitist or, you know, yeah. Yeah, look, some of the guys in the chat are calling up being a troll. I don't think he's a troll. I want, I want to say swear words, but I'm not going to. No, no, we won't. Don't rise to it. It's fine. Yeah, don't peace and power. Put your money where your mouth is. Go and join the Facebook page, introduce yourself, and then go and have a look yes. around. Right, what's Sorry. next, guys? We'll, we'll all give our opinions. Think of it if it's cause of discussion, it's work. No, as I said, you insulted us. Mm. I actually feel insulted being called elitist. Yeah. I've been called many things. So it's not a discussion, it's an insult. Yeah. It's as simple as that. We're here every Friday for nothing, for hours on end. Quite often when some of the guys don't feel like it because they're knackered yep. or ill. We've been here ill, haven't yeah. we? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. What do I get out of this? A little bit of advertising for UMP. Yeah. And Most of it is... And sometimes grief. And the videos. I spend hours making videos, but half the time I'm promoting stuff we don't even sell. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. So it is what it is. I think what you need to do, PC, you give your opinion. We give ours. I've given mine. You need to drop it and move on. Yeah. Because if it carries on, I'm just going to block you and we're done with you then, and that's it. Yeah, here you go, PC Pilot. Send me a message request on Facebook and I'll invite you in here. You come join us live and have a debate live. Oh, yeah. Face the camera. <laughs> but that's it. You give an opinion, we give an opinion. It's a discussion. Done. I haven't insulted you yet. But mm -hmm. you've, insult, you've insulted me and these guys. And the people watching, I would say, as well. Yeah. Eric's right. Why are we entertaining this guy? We're not, mate. If he pipes up again, he's getting blocked. The thing is, though, how many people have, have, are all saying there that ISM is the best place to be and it, it's helped uh, novice... Do you know what I mean? And it, it's If it were elitist, you'd, it'd be more than one person saying crap. Yeah. I like ISM, and I am a member of a few Facebook groups, but mainly you'll only see my work ever on ISM, ever. Yeah. Maybe maybe Gilbert's pages occasionally, if I feel that my work's worthy. He said, just keep it simple. Just keep your opinion to yourself, because nobody cares. Matter of opinion, your opinion don't matter. <laughs> You're not wrong, Gary. You're not wrong. Right. Should we do a giveaway? No way, no. And then we'll do two yeah. seconds. Yeah. I, I was going to do you earlier, Tim, who were, but you weren't there, mate. So, right. <laughs> Ricky! Right, so we're going to do a giveaway now. We've got a £20 UMP gift card to get to give away. I'll do the spiel tonight because Tim looks knackered and it's just going to be a random load of numbers. Be gibberish. It'll yeah, be gibberish, well, it always is. Yeah. Um, so all you've got to do to win this £20 UMP gift card to spend on our website is wait till you see Tim post starting yeah. numbers now in the chat. Pick one number from one to a thousand. We give you five minutes. No one's going to put a timer on screen any second. Um, Tim will pick a number. Let me just moment this. There we go. Uh, Tim will pick a number. Sorry. No one will start the timer. I want you to see Tim say start numbers now. You pick a number. So it's one number between one and a thousand. One number. Don't change your number or post it to two different numbers because that's it. You're disqualified. And after five minutes, do a land random number generator and um, the winner will win a 20 pound UP gift card to spend on wherever you like brushes, multiple airbrushes wherever you want oh, I'm ready whenever you are go on, whatever. are you ready we will begin in 3 2 1 start your numbers we still don't want Cam to see. says, what happened to the modeling gods about the wrong channel? <laughs> we, we, we've evolved now. <laughs> Turned into so much more. 
Yeah, I agree with you, Eric. I can't go back and read all the comments. I'll be here all day. But yeah, a lot of people are saying it's for everyone. No, it's not your fault, Dave. Your, your, your question is the one that caused great discussion. Brilliant question. It's other people and they stick their oar in. Um, that's the problem. We are all novices. You never stop learning. No. You, you can pass your no. test driving a car. And from that day to the day you die, you're learning every time you drive that car. Every time you got in the car, you'll learn from a situation or an incident, whatever, whatever it is, you're always learning. And that's what I'm saying. It's progression. Yeah. And the person that says he, he knows just, it all. Just, talk just using that. driving as an analogy, you can pass your test and that can be for the rest of your life. You can drive along happily, blah, blah, blah. Or you can do your advanced driving test and learn about observation, uh, driving defense, prediction, uh, road sense and enhance your driving. You don't have to do it, but it'll make you a better driver, wouldn't it? Al? Safely, smoothly, progressively, and well. So the mantra. It's just one of them. But anyway, we're done now. That's that's the end of that. Uh, Mark says you think he, he, I think how much you guys have helped me is unbelievable. Suffer with mental health issues. A lot of us do, mate. Right, yeah. A lot of us do. And I'm far from elitist, but I'm progressing. There you go. That's the key. Three minutes, folks. You got three minutes. Remember, just that one number. PC Power says he's thinking of the starter. That's all. Fantastic. But I'm not a starter. I've been doing this 10 years. And technically, uh, professionally, for seven years. So I, I'm not a starter. I can't focus on the beginner all the time because I'd leave out two-thirds of our modeling people. I can't, I can't mm -hmm. do that. So I try and cater for everybody. Hence why I was helping the guy with the airbrush. <clears throat> I just pick a number. Sod's Lori will win it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you now, coming onto a channel where people are going to advise coming elitist isn't a great start at all. Yeah. If you're thinking of the start, start your own YouTube channel, beginners models, and you can give all the advice in the world and do that. Yeah. Two minutes, folks. You got two minutes. So, still got Tim's section to go through. You're not going to lock there, are you, Tim? No, very small this week. Very small. Yeah. What about your section? Uh, hey! Uh, hey Hang on, is sex, is sex what? No, sex wing. Don't have one of them. That's Dan's, that's Dan's area. <laughs> I want to know anything about Dan's area, thanks. <laughs> Why do you think he's got such a big cave? From what he was telling us this afternoon, he's up to his left skid marks all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think he moved out of the corner of the bedroom? Oh. Oh, those, those roof supports ain't all over the house. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a strong joist up there. Better move the bench then. <laughs> That's right, pilot. I did start somewhere. Yeah, uh, seventeen years ago. I'm not a beginner anymore. I'm still learning minute, every day. Folks. As I say, I started over forty years ago, and I still learn from these guys and all the guys that post in the forum. And I still learn new stuff every day. Still, and he still picks shit kits to build. <laughs> <laughs> True that. <laughs> Well, there's no need to uh, thank you guys. It's all fun. Sa <laughs> Simon Brown's put in the chat. I'm confused. Is this for the price roll or the Everest stream? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul, I would never say you consider yourself superior to us. Oh, I do. Just in a different way. No, 30 joking. seconds, folks. you got 30 seconds. If you meet me in real life, I'm no different to this. In fact, I think I'm worse in real life. Uh -huh. Um... You can see his facial expressions much better. Yes. <laughs> Confused looks. Especially when you blink really fast at me. Pinky. <laughs> I knew you'd laugh at that. All muted and I couldn't laugh. I know. I was trying to... Here we go, folks. I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised he didn't take off. Oh, so am I. <laughs> oh, crap. Stop. I need to get, get, get the share screen off, Norm. Get the share screen off, quick. Stop. Right. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I got distracted. Damn elitism. Uh, uh, desk. We got distracted by butterfly eye. Well, we need we need 
We need to get that uh, state of emergency board Luke was talking about and have like what have been called this week. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't share it live, live though. Yeah, I could. I'd have to yeah. blank asterisk things out, but I could share it. It'll be all blanked out. Wow, can you share the links off your phone to this? I've just seen that. I haven't seen that before. Uh oh. Dad, yeah, no. right, is that sharing? Is that sharing? <laughs> yes. Right. So I put a thousand and eight for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know why. The six was already there. Ignore that. Um, I'm going to click this once and once only. That will be the winning number. Um, as always, if two people pick the same number, the first person to pick it wins. That's the way we always do it. And if you think you know who's won, please don't shout out in the chat because these guys will check it. I want you to know the winner. Tim will announce it. For the, so the winning number for the £20 UP gift voucher is 173. You know what I do notice with this is it doesn't do that sudden last second jump. Oh, it zooms so much better. Yeah. So much better. Even though it costs money, it's worth that money all day long. And we need to upgrade it so we can get the UMP logo on it as well. I'll do that next month. Because this is on the whatever. I need to put it on the business one. Because we need, we need to pimp UMP more. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. We should, need, have a look we at the should we have a look at the poll? See how he's do it, it's doing? How we do. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So we've been up half an hour. So 33 people own two. 28 own three. 20 own four. 11 own five. Eight own six. Five own seven. Chris has added none. Well done, Chris. I like that. <laughs> and Elitist is four. And out of all them... 21 people own one, so that's significantly outnumbered by a good percentage. Mm. So we'll leave that running all week. Yeah. And uh, next Friday, we'll report on that. So make sure you tune in next week and we'll see how much people have invested in the hobby. Gaz says, Paul, do you guys not fancy doing a button up MS show in Jan next year just for me? Like, as a kind of full tell. Oh, Gaz, I'm sorry, mate. Hey, hang on, I would love to, I'd love to, but the upheaval oh, yeah. of it, it's a nightmare, mate. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, the garden sale, ISM. That sounds good, Daryl. Well, yeah. like, who, who says Telford's going on? It's not everyone. Go on. Telford ain't gonna go on. No way they're gonna let like hundred thousand people. There's no way a hundred thousand people are going through those doors over that weekend. No. And as I said true. before, I'll be honest, if it is, I don't know if I want to go. I'm a bit unsure if I'm honest. Guys, I'd love to do it. It's just such an upheaval, mate. It, it's a nightmare. Um, it's a lot of work. We've got so many products and items to take. Well, not because we, not we, we've evolved. We've evolved as a company. Where there for, others, set, for setting up the stall, how many honors is there normally? There's probably uh, seven, seven or eight. It takes as well. At least, hours. at least, yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't. We wouldn't have that many there because some of you aren't going to come down for that. Or up, or especially up, yeah. Timothy. That's my, Bolton from Timothy's, like oh, other in the world. Oh, I don't. I, I won't even know where. I couldn't even point on a map to where that is. <laughs> he left London the other week on a train to Manchester and he didn't like that. <laughs> <It's too bad. laughs> Except the people. They were, actually, no, they're all right. Oh, we've got a question there as well. It's a good one. Are we, are we done on the numbers? I'll, I can, well, I'm sure we all have all agreed. Is, ta is time up? Yeah. I'm, time way, up. I'm way behind on the chat there. It's like four minutes left on the timer. <laughs> okay, we've, got, so, we've, got, uh, we've, got, we've got a good question to answer there as well. You read this out. So yeah, Paul with the random random number generator. This well, random the number random seventy three. The closest number to that was Mister Jiff Jack one six nine. Oh well done, Kev. Oh, Kev. Well, well done, Jim. Well, well done, Kev. Um, message me details. Me to sort it out for you. Gaz says he left a bag of lift at Telford. You you put on ISM about getting a lift, and I guarantee we'll get you a lift at Telford. Yeah. yeah. Wherever you are in this country, I will get you a lift. Yep. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. So, sense. good question from Auntie, and we'll do this before we get to Tim's. Do you want to set yourself up, Tim? Oh, I'm always set up. Are you ready? Well, we'll do this first. Oh. Paul and the crew, how many models do you finish per year? Right, I'll answer quickly. Last year, I think I did 28, but it was a bit of a crap <coughs> year last year. Yeah. The year before that, I finished 54. Mm -hmm. 
which was more than one a week. I had such a good pitch. That I was laughing. At. <laughs> yeah, I, I finished fifty four the year before, more than one a week, because me and Sam just absolutely beasted out car kits. Less than one a week, most of them. Um, that's yeah. So that's it. What about you, Dan? Uh, I did. Hang on, I did one, two, three, four, five. Six, I think, completed, but mine are, mine are them big. Yeah, you got a lot of detail. Right? That, yeah, they are complicated. Not complicated builds, but complicated as in paint. But yeah, yeah. Uh, anywhere between six and ten a year, that's probably me, depending on how big it were. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, this past week, weirdly, this past week, can you remember the uh, demon uh, Nazi that you got me for my birthday? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's been just niggling in the back of my brains this last week, and I think he may be making an appearance at some point soon. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, Good. Norman? Uh, what? <laughs> Sam? <laughs> um, last year, I think I did about 23 cars. Yeah. The year that's before cool. that, it when was about 35, 34, 35. Yeah. Because you did more than me because I had a couple of um, yeah, the window events. Yeah. The thing is with me, this is my job. So yeah. this I've got all my time goes into this. Um, Al? Um, it varies, but, uh, but you, you've got to take into account that I big build kits like that F15. It's going to take me months. Yeah. So probably about half a dozen last year. Excellent. And Tim? Two. Two? Oh, it's better than none. It's better than none. You know, last place. Yeah, so a, a wide range there, but you know, a lot. I, I, this is literally full time for me. Um, although this year hasn't been great um, with me with whatever crap going on. Uh, I know Sam's had a nightmare as well, and it does, it does hit your hobby hard because you can't bother doing stuff half the time. And if it wasn't for the channel. And as I was saying to Al the other day, the hangouts, uh, it would have been a lot less. Definitely would have been yeah. a lot less. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, boo hoo, blah, blah, whatever. Um, so the numbers vary from everyone, but a lot of the guys work full time. And then there's me, Al, Norman, and Sam. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd say good question, though. I like that. Yeah, good yeah good very good question. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think if my 60 plus hour a week, I want yeah. to say torture. <laughs> if it weren't for if it weren't for that, I'd probably be in here days. I'd just come in on a Monday and leave on a Friday or something. It'd be, do you know what I mean? It'd be, yeah. So yeah, I, just reading the chat again before we get to Tim. Um, I don't think Talbot's going to happen this year. No, no, I can't. I, see I don't. It. I don't think it's going to happen. And if it did, there'd have to be social distancing things put in, so it'd limit the amount of people in there. It'd be, one imagine, way, it'd be a one-way system round. Yeah, uh, you'd have to queue. Queuing at the stores would be shocking. Oh, my God, yeah, No yeah. traffic, and I don't think it'd be worth us going. It's as simple as that. I, I want it to happen because not only just for that, obviously, it's a good earner for us. It's good to have a fry, Sam, and I love hanging out with these guys. It's brilliant. Well, and I'm going well, I'm I'm to miss that more than anything. Yeah, I, that's that's the bit I'm going to miss. Yeah, miss social Johnson. side, because we've been going for years. Mr. Johnson because, did say... At the beginning of the week, that come November, social distancing may be uh, eased off a little bit, and it might not be as strict. But what part of November? Well, I'll tell you now. As soon as it gets cold, this is going to come back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, hard beat. Uh, so I don't think so. But anyway, we'll play the play. But Gaz, honestly, mate, you you tell me where you are. I'll get you a lift. I will guarantee. Guarantee. Um, Hannah's got a good point. Where would we put everything when it came back? Should we want the house? Right, Tim, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Go on, mate. So, yeah, we've got the Pope Al. That's perfect, that Tim. Yeah, I, I live in, <laughs> at least it was the end of a Tuesday live stream, and the screen had just frozen on Al doing uh, Pope Wait, Al. waving goodbye. Yeah, waving <laughs> goodbye. Pope Al the fourth blesses this kit section. Yeah, thank you, Al. Pope Mobile. Put with me on the Honda Jazz. Yeah. There you go. So far. Oh, cool, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I said we've got a couple of their carry-on from their White Knight range. 
Although I don't think they know how to spell white or night. So um, <laughs> uh, Timothy, do you work for those? For what? Are, are you the chief speller at that particular <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> Spell it off. <laughs> the wordings. Uh, no, there's no numbers involved in those words. So no, no. <laughs> Uh, honestly, they're, they're, I bet built up, properly painted, and with some proper rags, making it look like they're blowing in the wind, they would look so good, wouldn't they? Yes. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that would uh, that would look so so good. Um, you're not so oh, super expensive. I, I, hang on, that model kit is the same number, but there's two different models. Huh? Uh, stop pointing out the uh, small error in my ways. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, right, what's happened? Hang on, what's happened? Quite right there, Al. Oh yeah, the same different, kit number. different box arts for the same figure, or mm. they're doing two figures, but they both look like actually the same type of figure, didn't they? Yep, yeah. on the front, on the back of the box. Maybe, maybe. I, I saw them and went, "Oh, two different figures." Grab the screen, but you're quite right. Well done for noticing that, Al. Thank you for that. Uh, no, yeah. the, the, no, the, no, 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 Al. Thank you. The, Thank you the one on the left. Yeah. And the one on the right have got different. I mean, the, the one on the right's got a, a belt, and uh, yeah, anyway, one's called Dave, yeah, they are different, Tim. They are different, yeah, Sorry. one's called Dave, different actors, different actors as well. They must have screwed up with the kit number. One's called Dave, one's called Al, exactly. Ah, there you go. Uh, so from Mini Art, they've showed the three uh, re new release of the T34 with the uh -huh. interior kits that I'm going to be avoiding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like mini art do a cracking kit that sold all this interior detail. They, it makes so much extra work. Uh, but I say the box arts do look nice. And the Egyptian one could have gone quite well with my uh, SPG. And I think uh, Dragon do an old Egyptian Syrian war type one. I might have to grab that. Um, now I'm sure there'll be brilliant kits with lots of parts that someone will be happy to build. Yeah, they're a kit in last year to build. Yeah, that T55 has really burnt my bridges with that one, unfortunately. But it looks nice. Another one from Mini Art, they're doing repairing on the road. Uh, That's Dan. Look, hey? Dan today. <laughs> which, yeah. hang, on a minute, hang on a minute. Which one is Dan there, though, eh? Dan the door. <laughs> He's the, one with, <laughs> the, the one with his handle on the tool. <laughs> <laughs> Is he, is he cranking it up the front? That's what he's doing. <laughs> Hang on. That, that wasn't accusing us of padding up the show. We can't pad it out. It's scripted. We've got to go to the end. <laughs> <laughs> just just, just yeah. for those that don't know, years ago, we were I was accused of having this show scripted. Oh. How the hell could I script this random crap we come out with? <laughs> <laughs> if you can script this, dude, you need to work for BBC. Yeah. <laughs> If you could write me a script so I can come out with all my rubbish, you'd be amazed. I'll be amazed yeah. with you. Anyway, yeah. enough, guys. Stick the script, Tim. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so, pet, pet, yeah, so, yeah, prop, that's proper hook to that, mate. Yeah, yeah. Line, line three. Think this is like dad, a different version of all those lady books. As it's proper does, hook. Does, doesn't <laughs> dad look like a plonker bent over the car? That's my... Uh, there you are. <laughs> There's a bit of a Dan Ed cut. Oh, dear. It's got a dodgy tash, though. Yeah. I haven't got one a minute to might shave it off because oh, it was not, oh, that's a shame. Shave. it was bugging me. Shave, yeah. Blew it on the Ooh, look at that. Quick, Holy quick, crap, look at the price of that thing. A quick blow in the wind. Jesus. Is that we six, know, six? We know some of those guys out there, like John Stone, likes ridiculously big builds. So this is why they're ones that went with their figures, goes with their figures or yeah. toys as everybody else would call them. Um and they go to go to the Shermans. It's one, and, and it goes with the little Kissingrad as well. So it's one sit scale Panzer three. Oh, sorry, Panzer two. Hang on a sec. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Remember this bit of the script. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Page it, six. It? We're on page six, fellas. Page Buy him. Come by us. Yeah, I've got, I've got them on. I've got them on. Right, what? Tim. You're gonna say this kit's real expensive. Dan, you're gonna go. Yeah. This kit's really expensive. <laughs> Yeah. He's messed up in ink. God. Yeah. I would I just leave in cave. Always <laughs> <laughs> forget these lines. Oh, oh damn it, Blast. Got, Dan, one job. Jeez, I would say, when, when when in the script does it say Dan goes to the toilet? Page eight. You got a little one. Oh, it's on the, it's on, the brown, it's on the brown <laughs> yellow page. <laughs> I've got to put up your hand. It says, it, it says, at the moment, 
it, if you look at the side notes, it says pinch it. Okay. <laughs> I've had a peg on it. I've had a peg on it for about twenty minutes. Well, you got a great outside, haven't you? Oh God. <laughs> right, crack on, uh, Tim. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's also back fracks. Uh, yeah, it is expensive. And it's 360, 395 euros, 460 dollars. To be fair, it's going to be big, but it is expensive. I'll drive over, um, uh, it's a 16 scale, the Trumpy ones. Yeah. I think I'll enjoy that more. That's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you get a lot more build in it as well. Yeah. That's going to be a big old, big old bit of kit. Oh, yeah. Cool. cool though. Um, so, Edward are definitely making the most of their P51 kits. They're doing a P51D, very long range, Taos of Iwo Jima. Uh, shouldn't that be a Wajima? Uh, oh, yeah, good point. Wajima. Tim, Tim oh. can't get the uh, the word uh, right, right. You, you can say uh, Iwo Jima. Yeah. Iwo Jima. I know Iwo Jima. That's, a, that's an easy one. Uh, that's cool. That is very cool. Yeah, I'm, I've got one. I'm going to have one of those ones. Yeah. Now, what are these black things across the front of the edge of the wing? It's, what's all that about? Uh, they're for angle of attack, aren't they? Only for pilot's vision out the side window, so we can see. Isn't that for something like that, Al? Well, I think it it, it, it could be uh, an offset, an offset, an angle offset for you know if you're using a gun sight, how far you've got to aim. Uh, yeah, it's some. It's a visual representation. Of the yeah, pilot. yeah, it's something like that. Oh. So you have the turning or banking or whatever they can see their angle. Oh, okay. Something to do with that. I can't, somebody in the chat on there. It was a lot harder work trying to fight down those um, Japanese fighters, and they're a lot more uh, agile than the Germans. Well, they didn't care, did they? So. Yeah, good point. Yeah. But yeah, very long race. But it's not a K, it's still a D, isn't it? It's uh, not a Pacific. Yeah, it's a D, yeah. Version, because the Pacifics were Ks, weren't they? Well, from the from the oh, oh dear, from the Tamiya ones, the Pacifics were K, K, was it? Yeah, you go. Gary saying it's a visual aid for dive bombing. I knew it was something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So wasn't it the, the Kings were used mainly in the Pacific and the but these K okay, was late war. Yeah. Yeah. Cool looking plane. Very nice. Though. Uh, oh, prices. Uh, veterans thirty pounds, thirty three euros, thirty eight dollars, and thirty pounds posted in the UK. Uh, moving on, Airfix are really popping their Hawker Sidley Dom Domini, Domine, Dom Domino, Domine. Domini, Domini. There you go. So that's good. Is that a vintage classic? Yeah, I can't oh, quite yeah, say. I've got, I've got yeah. my Apple sidebar on the side. Oh, there we go. We're over now. So basically, that's a shy kit. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's an old kit. So it's it's shy. it could be new and still be shy. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Is, is Fair there, point, no, well presented, you know. But... Is, is, is no... <laughs> I mean, it'd be a cool little build. I mean, imagine that someone, someone's very happy. Maybe, maybe we, should do, we should all get one and do a child speed build and we'll see just how cool it really is. I don't know what, for 11 quid? <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. that's going to be a good size. For 11 quid, that's pretty damn cool size. Yeah, uh, I'd be interested in getting those decals down the side. I, I'd imagine that it's all paint except for that one round. Of... No, nah, for just... things, I bet you that's a decal. Yeah. It goes under the engine. You can't have a deck one. Like. Oh yeah, that's what Airfix would do because it's sadistic. sadistic. Yeah, sadistic. <laughs> you sure about the Pacificness? <laughs> yeah, well, it's very Pacific. <laughs> very Pacific. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> do a later version that's kind of all one color. Grey. But you can't mention it. Grey. Oh, and that that's definitely an owl build then. I like say the box art's nice. Nice, nice, nice the old style. Yeah, box. it's a throwback and a good throwback. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, this is how they should all, but this is how they should box all of their old kits, which are being boxed. This is how they should do them, so people yep. know it's a vintage classic. It's an old, yes, kit. exactly. Bang on, this yep. is what they do. yeah, because people what people bought them for these artworks in back in the day. They didn't build buy them for their new computer generated. This is why they bought them. These artworks, I like, I like it. I like the box art. I like that. And you know what? For a speed build, for eleven quid. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. I'm, I'm, I'm up for that one week. Yeah. Yep. That I think we might have to separate it from the show. Uh, yeah. And Pretty maybe cool. do a Friday live show, Saturday night speed build. Cut out the swearing. Uh, what? Yeah. Who yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we exam? And we sign it from the start to the end. Or we could do we'll it off air, off air, and just record it and upload it as a video. 
Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I think we can do it whenever then, whenever we're all free. Yeah. We'll oh, see. We'll, we'll, we'll play by ear. We'll do something. Yeah, we'll, we'll mind this. I haven't done a speed bump for ages, but they are good fun. That'd be that'd be fun, that. I'd, I'd do that. Yeah. yeah. Look great on fire on my gravel outside, though. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I've got a proper oh, balcony really cool. now. I'm going to throw it off. Hey, throw it off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your neighbours will sit like they're attacking us. <laughs> fly get, fly get, past the window on fire. <laughs> I'll get moaned out. The cat, I'll give the cat's trauma. Um... Yeah, anyway, but just about, yeah, seven pounds, twelve euros, fourteen dollars for a little old little old kit there. Um, from Dashworks in one thirty five, they've got the Stug three. Um, now this is a dragon kit, reboxed, and it's the Zimmerit version. I'll do that, Cal. Thirty five quid posted in the UK. Oh, for only thirty five quid. <laughs> exactly. What? What? Dragon's fifty five, and they're fifty five to sixty pound range for that kit yeah. alone. The, yeah. the dash work stuff's cheap. Yeah. Really can be cheap. That has got to be the best bargain I've ever seen because they are going for such big money. It's a Zimmerit molded on. I, I, I'm going to need to double check this, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty nearly 100% sure it's a dragon kit reboxed with molded on Zim. It, it is, yeah. It's it like is. the price. The Storm Halberts, yeah, it will be. It's, it's that yeah. kit that I had. I had that kit. Yeah. It's meant to be really good. Oh, there's a bargain, that, to be fair. I mean, if you get the two versions, you get the short barrel, long barrel, slightly different versions. But 35 quid, man, bargain. that is a bargain. A bargain. For, for, if, and they do build up well. There is a lot of parts, um, but they're, they're not like mini art. Like, why have you done this in six parts when you could have done it in See, that's what we should have done a, a, a group build of. Yeah, it's a much better idea, Paul. I like your idea, Paul. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Damn you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Betra's Mold. Anyway, Thirty-five pounds, thirty-nine euros, forty-five dollars. Look out for it. That's a cracking kit for that price. You ain't oh, yeah. gonna get. You ain't not gonna get a brand new dragon kit for that for that price anywhere. So grab it while you can. Um, another one, new one coming out. I don't know where they got this idea. No models are coming out with a nose art kit of the Lancaster. Where did they, where did they get that idea from, eh? Well, I say not a bad idea though. Um, their box art options are pants. I've never seen something so boring. You get one little something and a load of bombs, one with lots of bombs and something at the bottom, lots of bombs, and then one with lady. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm quite sure the bombers themselves are very famous, but for a nose art kit, there's no nose art except one. I'm sure there'll be aftermarket decals galore. Oh, well, oh the, yeah, that has to be, yeah. Yeah, the H, the one good thing is because HK models have already released, the, had their kit out, there's loads of companies out there doing lots of nose art box art boxes. And you think now how many they can produce on one small sheet of just nose arts. I mean, this is this is going to be, um, this is going to be really quite a good, good thing to see. Um, and for the price, 72 quid, that's not, not too bad. That's not bad, is it at all, really? I think I think I remember saying uh, Wing Nut Wings were saying they're going to be pricing theirs around the same price as a, a twin seater. So you're going to be looking at about 100, 110, 120 pounds for their version. Um, I think for the price, you get you get clear from what it looks like. You get you can have a clear out a shell, so you can have all the parts on the inside showing, or you can paint it all up and do it however you want. I mean, it's a good idea. I'm sure it'll be very popular indeed. That'd be cool. Yep. Uh, 72 pounds from Vegetinus, 79 euros, 90 dollars for that. I'm quite yeah. sure that'll be very popular. Um, this is an ICM kit, and I forgot to put in what it was. Planes. Uh, it's uh, Hain it's Hain 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 Italian. I know it's an Italian. That's Italian. It's a. Uh, uh, hold on. Give me two minutes. Someone, someone, someone in the chat will tell us. So just quickly, our poll. Oh yeah, go, go. People that own one airbrush is 21. People own six is nine. Seven is five. Five is 12. And interestingly, people that own four is 26. Three is 32. And two is 38. Hey, it's doing, doing Significantly well. Significantly higher numbers from multiple airbrushes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's after being up for 50 minutes. Anyway, that's a plane. Crack on. 
Yeah, cracking on. Anyway, so uh, moving on. Ming have announced they're going to be doing the Israeli Merkava 4 Merkava. with Not Creek Out, my Roller System, and it's got the Dalek or Wind wind Defense or whatever they call it. I can't remember what they call that one. Um, so it's slightly different on there, Merkava. New Rolly for Mines and a new anti uh, blow, me, blow Me Up thing at the back. Cool. Cool. Looks very nice. Very nice. Um, Hobby, Hobby Boss is going to be releasing a 118 scale Huey. Is that the Panda thing reboxed? Well, no, so Panda's I, on the 35th. Oh, yeah. okay. God, it's going to be big, then, isn't it? So I, I looked on Merit. Merit didn't have one in 118 scale. No. Which I thought it would. I thought, oh, it's come from Merit. Had a look. No, Merit didn't do it. It's obviously come from somewhere, and they've obviously taken it off something. So that's going to be huge. The only thing I can think of, we used to get the figures in 118 scale and you could buy the kits that were pre-painted. And they yes, just... it, 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 that's what exactly one thing. It's going to be, a, It's I think it's going to be a good chance it's going to be a toy of some sort that you can build yourself. Yeah. So this could be a very bad or a very good kit. I'm going to go with not that great, really. Yeah. It's, it's I think going it's going to be the six. same as the one, uh, the Harrier. Yes, exactly. And the Harrier is a bit of a, it, the Harrier is a bit of a strange kit, isn't it? It's not a, it's a model kit, but it, you can tell it was something else before. Yeah. They, they, they've, it's like they take the moulds and go, we're just going to add on to them the bits to make them into a kit. So anyway, if you're into a really, really effing big things <laughs> that is going to make you happy that's going to be some size I think big oh, enough it's, for 35th isn't it it's, it's a big scale 35th that in 118th scale is going to be huge like, you see the width of that um, blades because they are yeah, big uh, blades the, yeah. the twin blade was yeah. huge Even, yeah, I think one blade goes from the centre to pretty much over the tail hmm. so it's got that sticking right out it's not length the width they had one of these in Telford one year at the back by the cafe first year I went mm. and it is huge that aircraft yeah. that is a big helo absolutely I was gobsmacked how much room is in the back of that thing yeah it is uh, massive very impressive helicopter according to scale mates is a brand new tooling from Hobby Boss really yeah. that's going to be when we see one of them built that's going to be very very impressive I mean, I mean, if if Hobby, if Hobby Boss have really gone down the route of going, yeah, we're going to do a one eighteenth scale brand new tool. I mean, it'll be good. It'll be good. I just have a strange feeling they've got that from somewhere because it's an odd scale. Mm-hmm. It's an odd scale. You don't see a lot of anything else in one eighteen. Oh, I'm sure we'll find out at some point. It'll come out. Oh, I'm sure we'll. But yeah. oh, God is saying. Gary's in the chat saying it's a 20th, 21st century's toy kit. Yes, that was the one I was thinking that was of. The one I was trying to think of as well. Yeah, if it is, it's not going to be great because their stuff's very soft. Mm. Yeah, and I, that's why I said the other one, I knew I'd seen one somewhere. Yeah, I think it is. They make aircraft kits that look great, but it's got very, very soft detail on it. If it is, then it won't be great. No. Oh, yeah, it's having a look. But you could always yeah. restrain it. Yeah, it's just it's just soft in general, not just recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it won't be good. Yeah, it looks okay, yeah. but it's not. It's definitely not a um, no. a showstopper. But if it, it, I'm sure some people will get their hands on it and make it into something uh, pretty cool. But yeah, my gosh, that's big. Yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew it'd be linked from something somewhere. I knew it'd be linked from somewhere. Thank you, guys. There you go. Um, moving on to a bit of diorama stuff. Uh, Mame have done some air conditioning units for the side of your um, um, ghetto hideout, and then some satellite dishes for your ghetto hideout. Well, it's quite cool, isn't it? Nice to, touch. Uh, yeah. Find out what's mm, really going on around the world. Nice. Yeah, very cool. Uh, a couple of little added extras. Uh, road signs for World War Two Italy from Mini Art. They'll probably be in about five thousand pieces. And from Tory Factory, which I think this one's quite cool, air show accessories. So oh, some good. people do like building their planes as mm. very showstoppers. They're, they're very clean, very precise. And here's a little guardrails, little extinguisher, little sign telling you what it is. I think it's quite some quite good little... Uh... You, you know what you need with that set, though? You need a little hobbit with a baseball cap and a long-lens camera. 
Yep. 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 <laughs> uh, the the owl is what they. The call. owl. Yeah. yeah. The owl. Yeah. I I could do that. Yeah. We could, Basically, we could... it looked like Hans Molman with a baseball cap. <laughs> Who? <laughs> it's, a, it's off the Simpsons. Don't Google it because it'll probably offend you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, I'll be fine. Um, from Gecko Models, another one of these Reef Bronco people kits. Uh, they did the British ATMP with rescue stretcher. On right. The- I appreciate what that thing's job is. I wouldn't fancy being on the back of that on a stretcher, would you? Oh, no. Watch out for the bumps. Oh, lost oh, one. oh we've lost you. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back around in half hour. <laughs> yeah, that does look a bit sketchy, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. Don't go quick. Lost them. This this one's not a toy, though. Not suitable. It's not only suitable for adults. Oh. It's an adult yeah. toy. Only suitable for elitists. Uh, no, just needs to cement. Oh yeah, no, drive a figure. That's cool. Um, from Posha, they've got that one tw- uh, twelve nine nine S Panigale coming out. Very cool. Uh, you can do a bit of a pre order over at Jadland for that five hundred fifty, six hundred four, seven hundred three. Very very nice. I would love to build that, but. So I, I was chatting to my friend Bat because he was looking at getting one of these posters. I said, yeah, I said that, that, that all the guys are saying that you've got to uh, re-thread all of the screw holes because the screws don't fit, they break it, blah, blah. And he said, no, no, that's all poster kits. No, yeah, that's, that's what I said. That's all of them, yeah. All of them. You, you the need a tap and die set and yeah. the replacement screw set as well. No, no, was, the, the original screw should work. Is the, the, the tapping every single hole, you know, that is very normal. You yeah. always have to do that through every single... It, it doesn't matter through whether they're, from, they're really old up until they're really new, they're all the same. You well, perhaps used, perhaps used to doing stuff like that, though, yeah. because... It, 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 it's, oh, no, that's normal. That's, not, that's just how they are. I was like, okay, fair enough. That's, if that's just how potions are, that's how potions are. I was saying we're doing that Rolls-Royce for a bit, weren't we? Oh, was, yeah, he was <laughs> that says that's the character sent 10 set to golf clubs. I think it means that vehicle we showed last. <laughs> that, oh, that would be... That would be, yeah, that'd be good. That's quite handy for that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, bet, I'll bet you get shouted at the green. Uh, not on the brown. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're not doing that pink and brown thing again. You don't want to get your balls in the brown. Uh, no, no, no. no. From a little company doing 3D printed models, they're doing mini bar and freezer. And I mean, for the back of your Humvee, out for a jolly, that looked, that looked quite pick, good. Pickup truck. Stuff like yeah. that. Nice little, uh, nice cool. little touch there. Very nice. Uh, Airfix are going to be popping out their oh, uh, Bentley yeah. blower again. I'd love to build that. Yep. No. It's not meant to be that bad. From no, what it I've is. Heard. Yeah. Brittade, it's not meant to be that. I would love to build it. It's so cool, yeah. those cars. Brilliant car. Proper, proper British. Yeah, bit it's British. very, very cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, one of them, one of them. Uh, and Samir bringing out a uh, the, the Marder One tank destroyer. No, we got this. One thirty fifth. No, that's a that's a French chassis with a German uh, back oh, okay. barrel on the top. So it's definitely that's ugly like, vehicles. Those things. It's an yeah. ugly Is that a new tool or an Larry kit rebox? No, that's oh. a brand new tool. That one. Really? Yeah. Why do they choose subjects like this? It's well, uh, good in the head. The only other the only other kits are it of that one are actually quite an old the old the model because it's an old it's an old Dragon, Dragon. One, didn't they? Dragon haven't redone a new version of that. I think it's actually Trumpeter. Trumpeter have got the ugliest boxing. You know that really ugly boxing of a German self-propelled gun mm-hmm. that Trumpeter did that was just totally the, it was the worst boxing I've ever seen. That it's this what this tank this thing is here. It's on the Lorraine Lorraine chassis. I think it is, and it's a pack gun on the top. Yeah, mm. bit of a push into fighting the locals. Mm-hmm. Anyway, cool. and uh, that's us done. Nice one, Tim. Uh, one, Tim. Uh, uh, double click it, quick! Double click it to edit. Oh, <laughs> double click. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm just messing me out that vouchers the Monster Heroes kitty. Nice oh, one, Adam. Uh, well done, Adam. Star, mate. Well, We've got, a nice little, we've got a nice little kitty for them now. I'll have to add it up, but it's got to be at least 80 quid now. 
Or nope. at least. Top man. Oh, I was trying to reply to him. Be typing's gone to pot. Mm-hmm. Right, so there we go. That is just done for another week. And yes, that'll be British Racing Green, I think. Um, right. I don't know what to do tomorrow. Do I want to go live in the morning tomorrow or live on Sunday and try Sundays? What do you guys think? Sunday suits me. Sunday? Well, Al? Sunday, yeah. Uh, Sunday. Easy. Right, so to, to, we're going to do Sunday live, half nine for a couple of hours. Sounds good. Um, if you're around, join us, these yeah. guys, and if you're watching, whatever. Just want to see the numbers. I think we had about 40 on watching on Saturday. The thing is, what me and Luke are saying is Saturday's a day with quite a lot of people got shopping and yeah, that Sunday we might get a few more people at home, get a few more viewers. Um, oh no, I must have missed it, Kev. Nice one, mate. Well, Kev donated this as well. Well done, buddy. Nice Kev. one, Kev. Nice awesome. one, Kev. Well done, mate. Um, so yeah, Sunday morning, join us. Have your latest breakfast. Come join us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's always got legs. This this will be going on for oh, weeks. This. Oh um, yeah. Candy fry. Yeah, come and join us on Sunday morning for a couple of hours. Um, so if we do. Sunday, should we stick with Tuesdays or go for Wednesdays? So it'll be Sunday, that, we'll Monday, that, Tuesday, that, Wednesday. Week, it doesn't week, really matter. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's going to be another day. We'll, we'll stick with Tuesdays as well. Um, but we'll be here Sunday, half nine, couple of hours, bit of chat. It's a bit less, it's a bit more or less formal than this, isn't it? Because we're yeah, just sat there more than well. reading the chat. So if you want to come and join us, come over, have a comment. Uh, we can argue about airbrushes, um, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. But don't forget about the poll on ISM. I am hoping to get a bench update done. I might do it tomorrow for a live Sunday. I haven't done one for nearly, nearly a month. I don't think it is now. Eek. Um, and that's it. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks uh, nine thirty in the morning, Palmer. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for these guys for taking part. Well done to the winners tonight. Superb work. Uh, thank you for all the questions in the chat, bar one. And uh, well done, everybody. Stay safe, and we will catch you all next week. Take care, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.